Okay. Okay. Seems we're alive. Uh, I did a few things offline, like uh, some of the clearing out of the old rail blocks here that had the old furnaces. And at the moment, I've actually got it sort of set up to happen automatically. We've got a lot more... Oh. I was going to say we have a lot more production of rockets uh, that I threw into the mall. But we seem to be having some issues with that. Whereby explosives are not being delivered. Um, I don't see any trains, any yellow lights telling us the trains are coming. Uh, artillery production is here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's what I was looking for. That reminds me that I did indeed put explosive production in the rail network somewhere. Just don't know where it is. Um, we didn't make it... Oh, we did. We made it part of the oil blocks. So there's actually 7.2 train loads here and here as well. Oh, it's trying to deliver it. Um, why does this train think it needs to wait for traffic right now? It's literally just trying to get it from here to here. A hey, Morbel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So you're trying to go that way. And you're stuck because... Why? We've got a few trains over here that... Oh. Oh, no. Um... Accidentally marked a bunch of... Signals for deconstruction. Um, okay. I was going to say I know an easy way to fix this, but I think it's better if I just manually look for these uh, signals right now. What's this train up to? You can just go back to depot. Alright, so that should be explosives arriving at... They already unloaded almost all of them. Wow. Uh, so we've got eight of these. That gives us 5.25 uh, rockets per second. Uh, which means a bit over two and a half minutes to fill a Spidertron all the way up with rockets. We could speed it up a little bit more if we just add a few. Alright, the fuck is going on in space? A hey, Gek, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the sub. Five months, wow. And Baker Staunch, thank you very much again as well. Uh, for the gifted subs. Tau Tau, Begop, and Open 112. Hope you enjoy them. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has. You've been busy with study or something? I hope you didn't get sick like I did. Um, but yeah, this, uh, I'm really liking how this ratio is going to look right here. We're not going to need a whole lot of machines to keep up with what some train stations can supply. Uh, this is so that we can support uh, green science. Which, much to my surprise, um, I must have miscalculated earlier on because I copy-pasted the red science and just changed it to green. And I thought when I looked at the rate calculator, it was going to be a big problem. 
uh, to get enough transport belt coming in. Um, but this is actually as much transport belt as either of these resources, as opposed to double that. Uh, I must have missed the fact that the recipe takes twice as long. So that's a nice easy one. We just need to do yellow belt and yellow inserters in the rail network. Uh, but what I was working on uh, right before the end of the last stream, or was about to work on, is we need to produce some uh, accumulators at scale. I'm really liking this, uh, oh, whoops, what's that supposed to be? Rough data storage substrate. Rough data storage substrate. And this is solar panels right here. Uh, yeah, I keep running into this where... Especially with beacons, um, with the space that we've got in these rail blocks, the bottleneck is going to be the train station inputs. Um, and it turns out sometimes we can fit the whole thing in half a block, so why not just mirror it and double it and have the output in the middle of the station? Um, seems to be a pattern I'm going to be repeating a few times. Quite possibly with yellow inserters. Uh, but for that, for the moment, it's time to figure out accumulators. I can't remember if the recipe is a little different to vanilla or not. Five battery, two iron plate, and ten seconds. Um, so I think the first thing we want to do is set this to accumulator, double check we can't prod it, and give this a beacon. Well, actually, let's make eight of these. And uh, I want to get a feel for how many machines we can fit and how much input they need. So we can do at least 304, if the belts can keep up, which they absolutely can't. So I think this is going to be another build with the output train station bisecting the middle of it. Um, so how many is this? Might be similar. 100. Uh, considering that's prods, I don't think it's going to be close. More than two belts of iron in. And 262 over 45 is nearly six belts of batteries. That's tricky. I don't think we're going to be doing... Well, we might... No, I don't think we're going to be doing shared belts for this because... A ratio of 5 to 2 with batteries to iron plate. Um, how much does this block alone require? 8.4 iron plate per second. If we roll that up to two blue belts, 210, that's more than four blue belts of batteries. Hmm. If we keep this under 180... Two to four with only eight of these. We only get 33, 
33 accumulators per second isn't that bad. Um, so if we do eight of these on each side, and then do the output in the middle, uh, we need a big station for batteries and a station for iron plate. I think... Okay, let's start by 4.2 and 10. Okay, so and any individual machine only needs one iron plate per second. So we could uh, probably use long arm inserters to pick up the iron plate from one belt in the middle. And how much? Uh, 2.62 batteries. We could probably get away with fast inserters for that. And if we repeat this eight times, uh, let's get the output belt set up before we do that. Uh, just to double check, it's only 0 0.5 per second out, that should probably be a yellow. And then... We print this. Uh, snap to grid relative. Reduce the width by one. Um, and we need the middle to be measured first. Oh, we've got it. Okay. So I think we'll put the middle there. We can actually only fix six of these. Thank you, Gek. Uh, I take it you have a couple of points saved up. So this is six of these. Uh, we could maybe get it up to seven, which I don't like, given the odd number. But... Or we could, uh, we could probably double the height of these. One, two, three, four. Still have 30k? What should I put in for some more expensive rewards, I wonder? Scooters. Don't tell me those inserters are just barely out of reach. Okay. So this is going to be 168 batteries, 67 iron plate in. Uh, we've got plenty of room on the side here. Maybe we can... Well, exactly how many machines, if we go full speed module, would it take to need four blue belts of batteries? Uh, 68. And this is 16. Uh, 64. We only need... Four more? Really? That doesn't sound right.
Was this it? Sixty-eight. Yeah. Hundred and seventy-eight point five in. And sixty-nine goes over one hundred and eighty. Okay. Somehow I thought uh, it would take more than that. I don't suppose I could get... Where is it? We did do an 8 belt output from one train station for green circuits here. Although obviously the train network and or this block are kind of struggling to keep up with that. Uh, yeah, I think we need, we're, we're actually going to need another one of these blocks at least. Uh, El Man, El Manutegol. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I know green circuits. Okay then. Um, so what I'm wondering is, can I fit... Uh, I mean, I can definitely fit 90 per second, um, iron plate coming in here. If I scale this up some more, well, actually, let's, let's take this to its logical conclusion. Um, if I fit about as many of these as I can... Fully speed moduled up. I could probably just count the machines. Uh, 96. That's a bit over two belts of iron plate. Uh... 252 is 5.6. We could do, um, we could do a couple of compact 180 second, uh, yeah, we could do a couple of compact four blue belt outputs over here for batteries. That will be more than enough to feed that. Iron plate, we can definitely get a hundred out. But if we push it over... Oh, we're already past the halfway point as well. Maybe. This is only seven machines. Ah. I don't think there's going to be room for all of that throughput here. If we're going to try and do it on both sides. Let's see. 180. Uh, we only need to get over 100, so... We could do a pair of 90s. Like so. Um, done this before recently. Let's put that here. And... I guess I'd need like a 4 to 3 merger to make sure that works out pretty well. Or I could just merge the belts together kind of haphazardly but use a big old balanced unloader for the whole thing. That should be fine. So this comes down here. Something like that. 
Except, no, we do need more than two belts. So we'd need three belts of iron to go all the way across here. And... What was it? Like six belts of batteries? I don't think this is going to work. How many machines do we have again? 96... Uh, 252 over 45. We need six belts to support the batteries. So that'd be like... We might have room, but that's already crossed over uh, beyond the midpoint. Yeah, no. Okay, let's scale this back to where we've got 90 per second or less iron plate coming in. It's 85 or less. Um, how many is this? 64. That's 84 if I cut this off. That might be really good, actually. Spooters over here. I'm very tempted at this stage to update the construction spiders so that they have more robots. Uh, more robopods. Actually, let's turn off mine. And I think that means I can't see the robo range that I have here. Spiders, come over here, please. If I give you just two more robopods, we don't need to sacrifice any power. Let's see. Remove those. Check the range. Okay. That's pretty good. It, it won't do everything in a rail block, but... I don't know. I'm pretty tempted to... to go all out here. They're going to be a lot more bursty uh, with their power usage, but I could swap out the legs for extra batteries. So that's double the roboports, triple the battery storage, half the power production, and more importantly, the roboport range basically covers an, in the entire contents of a rail block, including the input and output stations, so I can just park them in the middle of a block and I won't have to move them around. That's pretty good. Um, it's so good that I think we should update them right now. Uh, let's get our training sent over here for more stuff. And while we're waiting for this, let's check on the military spiders and or uh, the orbital base. Very nice to see all those resources on the belts. Uh, not so nice to see we're still struggling with um, vulcanite blocks, although I did finally notice... I actually made the same mistake over here earlier that I did previously, where that's the wrong icon, still. <laughs> okay. Um, priority. I actually accidentally put the provide priority instead of the request priority here. So I want to make this a higher priority than 
getting more out of our iron and copper and glass because all of the volcanite blocks have been coming up here. I could probably stand to reduce the number that we're asking for here as well. Um, there's two train loads. Which one's this? Bottom left. Um, yeah, previously I liked to always fill these stations as much as possible, but I suppose, I was going to say, uh, I've come to pretty much trust LTN to supply these things uh, a bit better. However, I might, under some circumstances, go back to having a dynamic priority system. Because I would like to make, uh, I would love to make it a really high priority to make sure there's some Vulcanite blocks here, and then if I think you can set a negative priority so it's below normal, but it'll still get delivered. Um, I, I think we used that with the. Uh, uh, with the item destruction area, didn't we? Yeah, negative 200 request priority. So, I wouldn't mind reducing the priority the more stuff that we've got here, but having the amount that we request, uh, one train at a time, very high amount that we want to get in here eventually, like six or seven train loads, Make it six, just to leave some slack, so we don't end up somehow with trains trying to drop off stuff when it's full. Um, and probably have a combinator that just l makes the priority lower the more stuff that we've got in the station, which would just be a single arithmetic combinator. You could literally just do... Vulcanite block times negative one output uh, request priority, and send it to LTN. Um, you'd get some very low numbers with request priority, but I don't think that would matter. Okay. Let's update our construction spiders. Speaking of which, I gave them some more logistic requests. Uh, so we've gone through, I think, three pages of this. Just got these three to go before they're fully set up. So, which one did I just update here? There it is. keep going until it says we're lacking something. There we go, missing personal robot ports. And I guess we're waiting on the bots to deliver that unless I go get it myself. How many personal robot ports do we have? Uh, 32. Given what I'm trying to do right now, I'm thinking maybe I should have set the request even higher. Uh, this is probably fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm also going to need some more batteries. It was just batteries and personal robopods, right? Batteries. That's a lot. And where are we going? I think 
we got them all. Any more capsules laying around? Doesn't look like it. Oh, so that's our construction spiders. Back to default movement speed, which is a little bit sad, but they do have a lot more range. Um, they didn't need to have any other items brought back to them with logistics. Alright, let's bring them back here. Speedy spider got stuck on some water. Whoops. Come back to me, please. Oh, I meant to... Wait, can I do this? No, I can't... I can't queue up a move order that's, um... To follow something. Alright, now follow me. There goes another rocket. So how many Vulcanite blocks, if any, do we have in... Uh, in our rocket system? Oh, is this it? Zero. That's not great. Did we set the requests? We definitely did. It is. It does have a neutral um, priority setting, though, so it's going to be a while before that gets some attention. How many blocks are we making here? It seems like we're still working... Th oh, never mind. Unless. Seems like we might still be working through the extra vulcanite that we brought back. 147 vulcanite blocks per second is not bad. Um, I may even consider duplicating this block though. This is only going to go at half speed. For, the, uh, for now. So we're looking at like 90 Vulcanite per second. And this can consume double. 179.2. 178.2. Interesting. We did go to Morbel and. I mean, Mariel. And increase our production of core fragments. Uh, doubled it to be precise, with up to 12 per second. Uh, we've also got... Huh? Oh, I didn't set a request for this yet. Uh, let's see. Same condition as this one. Cargo rocket section. Don't know if that's going to be enough to get this over the line. I thought we brought more... Oh, that's right, I set this to auto-launch. So it already sent back all the Vulcanite that we can, unless there's enough cargo... Uh, cargo rocket sections to finish this one, which there isn't. Okay. Maybe we should send another rocket. Uh, we don't really need more belt... I don't think. I guess there's no harm in sending a bit more. Um, but I would like to send significantly more of these.
That should still have room, I think. We'll send that to Marielle and we'll get a whole lot of Vulcanite sent back in exchange. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's my spider. Let's go drop off this radar before I forget. And I guess while the construction spiders are waiting for me, they can finish cleaning this stuff up. Oh, I wonder how the range is going to look. The roboports from there. I think if I put it in the middle, they won't right, quite reach all of this stuff. Let's just park them here. They'll probably deal with most of that. Still a lot going on here. It's going to take a while to finish tidying that up, but I'm not going to have to manually do anything else except for remove the crafting combinators, which tend to crash the... Those ones specifically tend to crash the game if I run a deconstruction planner over them. Uh, I believe those were the ones that got destroyed by the biters. Rocket supply for the spiders is still a little bit sketchy, but not too bad. Um, I'm thinking if we clear the biters all the way up to here... We're going to have a very short uh, wall that we need to build, which would be nice. Uh, if I turn my RoboPod on, that might help. What just happened to our UPS? There was definitely a dip just then. I felt it. Oh, it was the spiders placing a bunch of signals. So we're at that stage of the game. Why are they not picking... There we go. Did they... Did they somehow leave some bots behind? Oh, you've got like a hundred. Seems normal. Right, back to the accumulator build. Uh, so this is just under two blue belts of iron plate. Uh, more than four belts of batteries. So we'll do a double, we'll steal this from the green circuit design. Uh, so this is eight belts of output for green circuits. Well, it's slightly less than eight, but it's still way more than enough. Um... How many inputs do we need for those? One, two, times six. Should we do a giant eight to twelve uh, splitter, or should we just sort of... Eight... That's like the biggest one we have here. Eight to twelve. I don't see how we're going to have room for that. How much does each of these need? It's actually only 36 uh, batteries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, one belt can support each column, uh, each pair of, like this. 
So we actually need to split this like 8 to 6. We might be able to fit that. 8 to 6. Doesn't need to be throughput unlimited, thankfully. Uh, if we do... Why is there a red one in here? If we do need it throughput unlimited, we could just take the 8 to 8 and remove a couple of outputs. As long as we're saturating it anyway, it shouldn't matter. Uh, but let's see how the 8 to 6 fits. That's not too big. Kind of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the iron has to get there somehow. That one goes here. Okay, very tentatively. I don't think we can get all of these belts to go here that elegantly, though. One, two... Let's see how much room... Oh. We don't have a whole lot of room left to spare in the middle where we are now. This is middle left. I guess that's as close as we're getting to the middle. Wait, do we even have room to... Just barely. Let's remove these extra bits of belt while we remember. Train normally can come in this way. Um, that might have to become a chain signal. Or we could perhaps do it like that. As weird as that looks, that's actually better. And that looks better as well. Alright, what are our construction spiders doing? Why have they still not deconstructed these? Are they full? No. We've got construction bots. You've got power. I think... I think it's because they've got a cloud of bots trying to catch up with them. And the bots are doing the weird thing where... Like, this specific bot is getting assigned to pick this stuff up. And now they're leaving another trail of bots. Okay. Vyasha Slave, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, have a good day yourself. Um, so let's go pick up our bots. Very, very slowly. Eight to six. That is a problem. What if I... We're definitely not going to have room to do it like this. Or anywhere, really. What if we do a pair of fours? 
Um, so these four are going to be on this side. I don't remember what this is doing. And these four are going to be aimed at that side. We have three pairs of belt on each side. So we need a four to six. That might be considerably smaller. Wait, four to six, did I say? Four to three, I think, and then we'll use a splitter closer to each of these. All right, I'm pretty sure a four to three is relatively small. Kind of. Uh, it's not like we can fit this this high up, can we? No, it definitely has to be one tile lower. That goes there, and that goes there. Or we could probably move that over a bit, whatever's more convenient. This seems to make a little bit more sense. One, two. Three, four. So that'll go there. And then... Like so. I feel like that just looks better. This goes here. This goes here. I realize this might be getting in the way of uh, the iron. I just want to lay it out first, and then we'll see if we can fit the iron. And if we can't, then we'll try and see how they fit around each other. Right, so then we do that again. Probably somewhere here-ish. Uh, one, two, three, four. This goes here, and so on. And this one's a little bit of a problem, but nothing too bad. Two tiles short. There we go. Right, that wasn't actually as hard as I thought it might be. One tile short. Tragic. Let's do it like this, so that this part looks a bit more consistent. Underground belts. Everyone. Should
should simplify things slightly. Oh, that's, yeah, that makes sense. And I don't think we need an underground over there. Alright, so we only need two belts for iron, right? Yeah, this should be relatively simple. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? Oh, because it's... Okay, we'll just think of it as six and we'll use a splitter each time. Well, actually, probably going to be cleaner slash smaller if um, if we have a pair of belts and then one of them goes to all of these, including the middle one, and the other one can also go to the middle one and then all of these. We're not going to need that weirdness over there. Uh, we don't need this extra side. Just a regular old 90 per second. So first of all... need to... one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna split each belt into four and merge them in the middle there, I think. So... That goes there. One, two. Three four. Let's see, where is this going to fit? I guess we don't need a splitter to merge them properly if each half of the belt is covered by one input. So this is one, two, three, four, good. And then... Uh, one, two, three, four. We can just do that like so. Should be pretty straightforward. Can we move all this uh, down a tile? I think so. What would be neater here? That seems fine. So then we just do a regular old split for each of these. Actually, might be better to bring it down here. I think that's it. Pretty straightforward, actually. If it's going to look like that... That's one little bit less belt. It's fine. And then we add some more undergrounds. Just to tidy all this up a bit. 
Actually, I should see where this lines up. That seems okay. Except then it doesn't match this one. Hey, fat boy, not so slow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I like that train line you made that comes in from the top, goes out, and then swings back into the middle of the block. Yeah, it's actually sort of, kind of, the neatest that I could do here. Uh, especially if it's coming directly from the roundabout, which is what is preferable, because then we don't have to do unusual things with uh, signals. Although it does cross over this station right here. So in that case, we might have to not do that. Um, can we do it from here instead? Yes, I think I like that better. Probably. Depends on if we can... I don't think we can make this corner. And this is too close to do a... Wait, how did we... If that's too close, then how did we do that? Oh, I see. Hmm. Now, I think what we're going to have to do is... Something like what I was considering the first time. That doesn't look quite right. I can't flip it. I'll do it like this. It's nice and symmetrical with this design right here. That goes there, that goes there. Oh, that's not actually the middle. Can't have that. It might be the middle, actually. Yeah, it is. So this one's in the middle and this one is slightly off. Alright then. Chain signals. And I don't think we need one here. No. Right. Although I guess it couldn't hurt. So we just need to tidy up with some undergrounds. I like to line them up with the other ones if I can. And that's looking pretty good. Where are our spiders? Oh, that's right. I needed them to collect their bots. We'll get them to do this thing a bit later. Can you pull it off the roundabout loop mid-turn? You mean like this? Uh, if that signal wasn't in the way I could, yes. It's fine. And I suppose... No, I'll, I'll just have one way in, one way out for that one. That was my thought, but your roundabouts are pretty optimized. Thank you. Yeah, I really do lo love these roundabouts. Um, strict one-way drive for the straight rail and being able to go go clockwise or counterclockwise on the roundabouts has been just a great layout. It's so easy to take with double-headed uh, double trains, it's so easy to have uh, trains come off the roundabouts and get back on them in any direction. Um, so I think that's it. Uh, probably time to actually set up these stations so we can see if we made any mistakes.
Iron plate. Goes here. Uh, we've got our combinatorless balanced unloader. That connects to there. Standard drop off goes here. Uh, that's not green circuits, that's batteries. Battery. And this goes here. Double check we didn't copy double the arithmetic combinators this time. It's not going to matter that there's a green signal on that. Pretty sure. Red wire goes here. Station names. Iron plate requester. Battery requester. And we're going to need of train loads of iron plate, couple of train loads of batteries. Train's already on the way, fantastic. Let's make sure that by the time it gets here, oh, does that not? I don't remember copying that bit. That's fine though, I guess. And the batteries are coming also. Cool. That should do it. If all, if all of that works correctly, apart from the bit of rail in the middle, um, we'll mirror that on the other side. Shouldn't be difficult to find room for... Actually, it might. Uh-oh. Um, how am I going to fit... Uh, should have thought of that sooner. I'm pretty sure we can move all of this up a tile or two. We can move that up two tiles. And the rest of it... This would have to stay where it is, and this turns up here. I th think? We can move all of this up a couple of tiles. Um, we have confirmed iron gets where it needs to go. I guess I'll let the batteries flow before I work on moving it. I want to make sure all these belts are correct. Why do you have the battery belts wired up, waiting for all to be full with 72? Uh, this is a kind of a different kind of balanced unloader. Instead of the inserters doing the balanced unloading, where if any... Okay, so if we set these to be... Normally it's four cargo wagons, we're just doing it on both sides. Uh, if this cargo wagon has an above average amount of batteries left in it, we'll turn this thing off. The seven, negative 72 is just a bit of slack, I think it's um, 12 times 6. Yeah, so it's one stack insert, it's, it's one swing of all these inserters. Um, so, 
we're allowed to be a little bit ahead of the average. Um, that just makes it a bit better at uh, at not slowing down. Okay, makes a bit of sense. Yeah, I've got a version of... Okay, so this is kind of the holy grail that I was working towards for a very long time with the balanced unloaders, uh, sort of. It's four full blue belts with, uh, with no gaps. And if you don't have these extra combinators here, um, I forget how it works to be honest. Everything greater than zero output one iron plate. And that goes to here. Pretend we have 72 extra iron plate. If... I think it's if we have an above average amount of iron plate remaining. Pretend we've got 72 more. And then this stops if we're greater than or equal to the average equal that doesn't sound right the point is it's kind of a tricky latch system that i figured out uh so it basically adds some slack that's allowed to a system of uh balanced unloading uh the balance is done at these belts instead of at the inserters so you will get these chests unloaded unevenly, but you'll get the cargo wagons, or the chests that receive stuff from the cargo wagons, unloaded evenly. This one will actually do a consistent 180 items per second. Uh, this one, which doesn't use nearly as many combinators, uh, it's close. I call it about 170 plus, which is, since we're doing that twice, um, it's considerably more than we need to keep up with this, so that'll be fine. Yeah, it's actually been a little while since I uh, designed this, so I'm not entirely sure how it works, to be honest. I may have uploaded it already, I can definitely do that on request. Uh, so, it seems our batteries are all going to the right place. And I actually made a bunch of accumulators as well. Alright. Let's... Stop all the belts for the moment. And if I move this up two tiles, that's a problem. How many tiles do we need? Um, we obviously need some chests and then belt. So yeah, I think we need to move this up two tiles, at least. Uh, it should be pretty trivial that there's a gap like here that can change a little bit, obviously. To move all of these machines up one tile looks pretty easy. Uh, this little bit here makes it a bit more complicated. Could I move this thing up a bit and somehow put that through here? Oh, I'm still carrying a million personal batteries. Whoops. Okay. 
if this goes up, two tiles is going to be the maximum. Up here. I think we can get away with this. Just barely. So these two are going to go here. And these two like this. That's looking pretty good. And then everything else just gets shoved up a couple of tiles. And if we really need to, we can get yet one more tile still by moving the machines up a bit. Which I think we might have to. Okay. Let's start by grabbing all of this. Uh, I don't want to have to delete that part. Rip your inventory? Yeah, I've got the spiders. It'll be okay. I think. Pro probably. Alright. One, two... And all of this stuff here goes up by one, two. And I think in order to get the accumulators to all merge somewhere on the left here, um, we're going to need one more tile. Hey, Creakly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put you here. So I can see what I'm doing with the train stops. Um, what's our rate from all of this? I think it's less than one belt, right? 42.5, it's very close. But yeah, we can definitely do a regular old balanced loader here. And we're definitely going to need one more tile. Um, so this bit's going to have to look a little bit different in order to make room for this machine here. These ones can all literally just move up a tile. Um, I don't suppose... Wait, I thought I was gonna have... To... Oh yeah, I do have to move this one. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Surely you can remove that one tile gap in the middle and make it work? Uh, oh, you mean this one? Yeah, I th think you're probably right. I don't remember why I had that gap. Also, I just noticed all of these that we need to change. I wish there was a way to see through. We need like three x-ray but for spiders so I don't have to move them for this reason. Looks like a mispaced. I don't think it was. Um, I remember like over here there was a reason that I put this gap here while I was designing this and I don't remember what it was but yeah this gap actually serves no purpose so why don't we just make this easy on ourselves on the far left as 
a machine is level with the beacon. Machine is level with the beacon. Oh, because I hadn't finished moving half of these, I think. Alright, is this just going to remove belt? Yes, fantastic. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Just that, you, just that cut you did. Yeah, no worries. Right. We're going to need the battery belts to turn to the side so that they don't go onto our output belt. Actually, are we going to have room for... Uh, I think we'll have to move this up here. And we can put the merger here. Here. That should be fine. Nice. That's very convenient. Also, my bots are crying because I completely forgot to uh, put my portable RTGs back in. Um, There is a phone ringing in the background that shouldn't be, but it looks like the microphone's not picking it up, except maybe when I'm talking. It is. Oh no. I think I've mentioned this before, but literally no one's supposed to be calling that phone. Thank you, Fatboy Not So Slim. Let's move this up here. This one can stay the same, I guess. Uh, how far does this reach? Damn it. Okay. And here. And here. Oops. That actually reaches all the way here, doesn't it? Perfect. Almost forgot... Uh... Well, I was thinking about having an input on this side as well, with the production we do on this side, but no, I don't think that'll work very well. So, so then the question is, can we fit two belts of input, one coming from over here? Might be a problem. Maybe I could do a balancer that recognizes that these both go to the same cargo wagon. That might be a bit tricky. Or we could do what I was discussing earlier to get one more tile up here, as well as what we've already done, and that might just be enough. I mean, it will just be enough. I guess we didn't actually need to make those belts go sideways, because we're using those undergrounds. Um, it's fine. stylistic choice now. Yeah, this is just barely under one belt. That's glorious. Okay, then. So we're going to have to commence uh, operation move all of these up one more time. 
except I don't know how this one's going to work. Yes, I do. It was pretty easy, actually. So that goes there. This can obviously be moved up a tile. Uh, I think this can too. Yes. That one's easy to change. That one can go up, that one can go up, and that just leaves this one. I think it's going to be... It's almost less confusing if I just start from scratch. Then again, maybe not. Okay. That'll go there. No, it won't. These two need to go here. And this one... Wait, no. Let's just remove the assumption that those undergrounds are going to exist. Uh, this goes here. This goes in here. And... That's weird. Is it weird? This goes here, two belts, one goes to here and here, and I've confused myself, haven't I? One belt needs to go here, 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 and here, and the other needs to go here, 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 and here. This one's already correct. Um, I think we just do it like that, don't we? The belt battery is not connected. Is it supposed to be like this? Yeah, I just don't want to fill all the belts at the moment um, because I'm going to move a lot of things. Okay, I think that's it. That can go there. That can go there. I feel like that looks slightly better. Right, so right side of this split goes here and here and here and here. Left side of the split goes here, 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 and here. Perfect. Now we just need to move all of these up a tile. Um, a little bit scared of messing this up. Let's see. Get rid of all of those. And if we just cut and paste this one. That should be it. Lovely cloud of bots. Uh, I'll keep that for the moment. And I think we're ready. Let's see if everything goes where it's supposed to. Did I just... Oh, it's disabled. Okay, cool. It's doing the balanced unload thing. If 
Fantastic. Why is this facing the wrong way? And then we need uh, two belts here. That's a little bit tight, but I think we'll be okay. Might be better to do it this way, actually. And then connecting this other one will be easier. Okay. I think we're just about ready to copy this to the other side. Let's be a little bit careful about what we do copy. Just this much, I think. And that goes here. You go to the middle, should be able to reach everything. Fantastic. Are you liking the space exploration mod? Uh, love it, pretty much. It's a bit slow. Uh, if I'd known how things were going to go, I would have increased the amount of resources on Nalvis. Which I think, I'm pretty sure the map settings only affect Nalvis when you're at, uh, when you're selecting that stuff. Yeah, I definitely would have increased the amount of resources on Nalvis. Um... The slow was a bit start. I would play without biters, although I'm still waiting to see. There, there were the giant space marine biters that only attacked us once. Um, and I'm still waiting to see if there's anything else special with biters with this mod. So I don't know what my recommendation is about that until I finish the playthrough. But other than that, uh, basically, short answer, yes, I'm really liking the mod. Let's fix all of those. And this goes. Wait, that doesn't line up the same. Which is okay. And that goes there, and there, and there, kind of. I think this is the most sensible way to do this part. That's a nice fit. And this one goes here. I like your city block setup. Thank you. Vlad the Imploded. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm in the middle of a C block run. I know your pain of needing more resources. Yes, indeed. I saw a little bit of C block once. I haven't tried it myself yet. Uh, also, I don't know if I said earlier. Oh, I did. Well, welcome anyway, Biasha Slave. There's a little bit more space on this side than is strictly necessary, but that's fine. Um. Train has arrived and it's waiting for this one to go away. Seems like we've already powered everything. Oh, we're missing a few speed modules, but no, wait, train, stop, come back, come back. We need your speed modules. Thank you. Uh. Oh, batteries and iron arriving at the same time because that train was blocking them. Nice. Seems to be working pretty well. And all that's missing now is... Uh, a couple of substations. 
Let's put this one here. This will go here. That's pretty good. And then we just need to set up a standard pickup station. And change the name of this uh, station right here. Not strictly necessary, but I like to do it anyway. Accumulator provider. And that's it. How many do we have already? 1.5k. Uh, 8,000 is a train load. So how long does it take to get... Uh, let's get our speed modules before we calculate it. And are we missing any beacons? Nope. Using a mod to manage your trains? Yes, it's called LTN, Logistic Train Network. Oh, I think I missed some underground belts here. Four, five, six, and we're going to need the same thing on the other side. Three, four, five, six. And this whole thing should give us nearly 90, 86.8 accumulators per second. That's pretty good. That is a minute and a half for a full train load. I don't think we're going to need another block like this for a little while. Accumulator, whoops. There we go. And I think that means we can now... Um, set up a rail system to make space capsules. Uh, yes, everything, everything we need for space capsules is now properly in the rail network. Oh, I didn't put those speed modules in yet, apparently. 882 Just over 90 seconds still for a train load. Also, are we going to need uh, something faster than fast inserters for this? Let's allow it to get 100 ahead of the average. No, it seems like fast inserters... Probably good enough. Why is this stopped? Oh, that would help. That would definitely make a difference. We might need stack inserters after all. Alright, I can't abide having a few accumulators stuck on the belt until the end of time. So I'll pick those up now. There we go. And will the fast inserters keep up? It looks like they will. Fantastic. It's a real nice backbone for your future power needs. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, we've got okay production for accumulators and solar back in the main bus base but this is more well i don't know what else the rail network is going to need for solar and accumulators but we need quite a lot of them to make space capsules um come to think of it okay it looks like the space capsule production system uh, that I put in this mall block is actually sufficient. 
but I'd still prefer to have it handy. We could probably drop off solar panels and um, accumulators over here so that this thing doesn't have to constantly produce. Let's see. Uh, solar. Make it 10k. Actually... Oh, that's fine. And accumulators. And we should see a train coming to pick these up relatively soon. Actually, it depends how many solar and accumulators are in the network here. Obviously zero solar. 2.2k accumulators, that's not... Let's make this two train loads. Oh, that's not solar. That's solar. There we go. Where are you headed? To the mall. Fantastic. And... We actually have two trainloads of accumulators here already. But I don't see a train schedule to come here. Uh, the signaling is definitely correct. Even if it weren't, a train should be scheduled by now. Oh, is it because we've got more accumulators stored over here than I thought? I think I have a substation or something telling me how much is in the RoboPod network. Oh, here it is. Except I still can't see the accumulators. Pretty sure we're making... circuit things here. We are not. Oh, yes we are. Hurry up and build that. Oh, all the construction bots are busy over here. Then actually getting relatively close to... F no, they're not. These chests are full of stuff. Uh, that is something I didn't think through. These are just storage chests. And we want specific resources to go there to the trash train. Alright, let's remove this. There's going to be a whole lot of junk in this network that's not supposed to be. I'll have to deal with that. I think you press the L key to do a control F for accumulators on the window that pops up. Oh yeah, I always forget about that. So... Except I need to know which robo network this is which is um a problem i could always send the spiders over there so they build that yeah the only problem left is why do we not have a train coming to pick these up How many rockets you guys got? Oh, they're full. Fantastic. Let's have them do something. I think we'll push up to that choke point for now. Start with this base right here. Uh, see if they get damaged by that. You have so many networks. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Spooters. It does hurt me that they're this slow now, but the extra Roboport range is really nice. Oh, they finally built the... Uh... Okay. That should have been a... Um... Right, this is fine. Accumulator, input count, anything greater than zero. Um, that's not enough. We need to point it at a power pole. Now we can see how many accumulators we've got. 3.2k. So considering we're requesting 16k, that should absolutely be triggering a train delivery. We are telling it that we've got the accumulators. Yeah, 28,000 of them. I wonder why... We've got plenty of trains, right? Uh, maybe not. Nope, we do. Although this one seems to think it has no path, because it doesn't. Uh, I was building this little mine over here before. Didn't get the spiders to finish the rail over here. Anyone else saying no path? This one. Uh, I think I know why. I must have changed something with this signaling? No, I don't think I would have done that. Oh, it's this one. And this goes here. And this goes here. Is that in the robo network? It should probably get sorted out without me going over there. Train should be on its way. Fantastic. The second signal that I added here is not strictly necessary. Uh, this train could leave in this direction, but I prefer it if it could go either direction. I still don't understand why we're not getting a delivery of accumulators over here. Request stack threshold 160, that's one train load. We're asking for 16,000 accumulators and we have 3.2k. Um, yeah, I really don't know why a train isn't coming to pick this up. Well, what I might do is build that little system that I wanted to for uh, space capsules. And we'll see if we get a delivery for accumulators after that. I haven't played space exploration for a couple of years, but yeah, I remember landing on new planets and just raving at more power so I could launch back off as fast as possible. Oh yeah, definitely. It's also by far the least trouble uh, in the long run to put solar panels in place on an outpost for power. Did we get that train reaching its destination? I think we did. Okay. Chain signal goes here, regular coming in. Chain signal out, regular signal in. 
and I'm not actually not sure how I'm gonna lay this out. We actually need seven inputs here. I could do... Okay, I've figured it out. Uh, the way I've done combined belts straight from the train station before, like this. Uh, we can do four resources from each uh, logistic train stop if we don't need that much throughput. And then we just need another station for output. So, train stop goes... doesn't look right. Oh, there we go. Train stop goes here and here. I'll steal the combined drop-off that we've got over here. And I think that one goes on the other side. Yes. And then... Same thing over here. So we need heat shielding, LDS, I guess start that one here. Let's get the spiders. I kind of want them to finish this bit first though. Also we definitely don't need like two belts of, well one full belt of input for each of these. Um, The fastest resource is 5.4 per second. If we multiply that out, we could do four machines with speed modules. I think that's what we will do. One launch every five seconds should be enough. And... Uh, I'm not sure what the layout's going to look like here. Probably just merge it all. We're aiming for... Actually, we could probably go for two belts of uh, one full belt of each input quite easily. So if that's the case, we could do eight machines for a whopping 0.433 capsules per second, mind you. Oh, I just realized. Yeah, no, if I was going to have one full belt of each, then the layout that I already had was correct. Nah, that's super overkill. Let's just do one, uh, a half a belt for each resource here. Spooters, do your thing. And then report to the next build. Oh, that reminds me. Um... More things I should be doing with our construction spiders in orbit. This, uh, these ones would have been way better off if I'd done the eight robo ports to begin with. So I can do a much bigger fire and forget to get them to build a bunch of stuff. But we're pretty close to finishing this build. All that's left is the actual buildings. And then getting certain resources into space. Actually, I would like you to build this stuff. So 
Seems like that's done. Goes here. And then we'll do something similar on this side. In fact, that'll be really easy to copy paste, I think. One, two. Also, I just realized we're going to have to get four belts to each of these machines. Um, that's going to be fine. Or is it? Hello, spiders. A hey, mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... I think we're going to need some more undergrounds. If we're going to have two belts of input on both sides, then outputs are going to have to be here. That's right. Um, let's remove this nonsense for the moment. And copy, paste, flip. Copy, paste, flip. What am I doing? This? That's a bit easier. Should we move that over a time? Close enough. probably stand to move this more to the middle um, but we only need a short train to pick up the uh, capsules in fact I think we specifically said short trains for this so why don't we do it like this because the signals say no Need to be able to get in this way. Is that legal? I don't even know. Um, we don't even need to continue with this rail going up there, so... I'll just remove that this time. And then we can put this here. Um, then I suppose, wait, where is this going to fit? Since we're only doing a small train, we only need, uh, one steel chest. But then I remember that stack inserters have no effect on capsules. So let's do a... Balanced load. Loaders. Six bloom. And 
Throw in some substations. That's already powered. Fantastic. Wait, doesn't this... No, never mind. Let's be consistent with that other side. Okay. So I think all that's left is to just set up the train stations. Uh, standard pick up goes here. Standard drop off here and here. And we actually need to set these as well. So heat shielding LDS. LDS. And for the combinator that's balanced unload, we need to change these settings. I just noticed that these wires aren't connected. Um, I'd better check on wherever I copied this from. Which I th think was down here. Yeah. That should actually connect like that. I hope I haven't copied that mistake somewhere else as well. So all it's doing is reading these bits of the belt and also what's in the hands of the inserters. And it has to be empty of cogs and copper respectively uh, for them to output. Uh, obviously you won't output at full speed, but if you're putting uh, 24 inserters into two blue belts, um, they're going to keep up very easily. I am seeing the same mistake over here as well. We haven't actually finished that build, but still. Same thing over here. One and a two. Any others? Yes. And a flip. And a flip. And over this side as well. Okay. This side is correct. Which means this side is probably correct. And over here. That looks good. Alright. Uh, that one doesn't need it. So, I think... This is actually almost empty of copper. I think some of these might be a little bit imbalanced at this point. Yeah, they are. It's not too bad though, and they're nearly empty. Probably don't need to worry too much about that. Oh, that build was finished. I was thinking of something else. Alright, back to this one. These are supposed to be connected. This should be heat shielding. This should be LDS. And then copy paste. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Fantastic. Uh, I might just copy this across here before we go and change the settings. So the Y is there to start with. All right, next resource is rocket control unit and solid rocket fuel. 
Market control unit. And solid rocket uh, fuel. Solid rocket fuel. There we go. And then... Wait, what's the ratio for all of these? 100 or 50. Uh, one of these things could have taken up one belt, but it doesn't really make a difference. If there was one thing that had a smaller stack size than anything else, I could have it take up two belts. But I guess this, it, it'll be fine either way. So, uh, solar panel and accumulator. Solar panel, accumulator. Two, three, and that just leaves glass. Uh, let's see, glass, and this can just be everything equals zero. Okay. Now we just set up the uh, LTN stops. So let's see. I'd like to name the stations first. Heat shielding, LDS, rocket control unit, and rocket fuel. Requester. Solar, accumulator, and last requester. And then we just have to set these up. Alright, so heat shielding 8000 is one train load. I don't think we particularly need to worry about stacking this up to, tr to two train loads this time. Although rocket control units and solid rocket fuel, maybe. Um, what is it stacked to? It's 1600 is one train load. Let's make it 3200. And solid rocket fuel will be the same. Hey, Dune. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, still working on those shipping lanes. Uh, so solar panel and accumulator. It's going to be 8k. And glass will be 16k. Fantastic. Chicken wings? Chicken wings. Oh, we need some power up here as well. Can I fit it all under one substation? Nice.
I suppose, given we need four resources from this train stop, I could allow uh, a higher train limit than normal. This one takes a bit longer to unload. Eh, it's fine. How often are we going to need trains to come here anyway? Missed a bit of belt. Oh, whoops. Uh, this goes here, and this goes here. Shipping things? Did you say still working on the... Oh, chicken wings. Uh, last I checked, you were playing with ships. Is that right? As in giant boats. Got Sakama. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why are we... Oh, that's right. I did actually set it to ask for multiple train loads of the things that don't stack very high. Moved on to K2 plus SE. Nice. Having fun with it. Getting rapid fire trains coming in here. That's kind of cool. Oh, and we should probably set this one up, but since it's a pickup station, that's very, very straightforward. Uh, capsule provider and go. About them about to make the leap to space. Nice. Here comes our glass. Why is this not Oh, that makes sense actually. Yeah, that's the balanced unload without a combinator. So all of the inserters plus these four bits of belt have to be empty of the given resource before the inserters will swing again. There they go. So as it doesn't strictly unload everything evenly, uh, but it will if you put everything in evenly. About to make the... oh yeah, that's right. Right, we're just waiting on solar panels and LDS. Here comes the LDS. And here come the solar panels. Although they're looking a little bit stuck right now. Oh, you've got no path to exit. I missed a signal over there. Speedy spider. Let's get it done. And I think it's just... This one, and this one. Uh, that also told us, by the way, that our accumulators are indeed functional in LTN. Which is good to know. Why do we have glass on only one side of this belt, though? That's... Oh, we don't. It's just the inserters taking from that side. Okay, cool. So this um, this does actually sort of function as a lane balancer as well. Though there could be a speed issue if you relied on that, where high, put, high it throughput was involved. Thank you for the follow... Uh, Sig Gap and the real Paggy. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're both doing well. Right, what do we got here? Just solar panels remain, and I'm pretty sure they're on their way. Is 
is this one. Yes. Perfect. Just, we're going to arrive at almost the same time. Away go the solar panels. And away go our space capsules. 60 seconds. I think there's going to be a bit of an inserter bottleneck on these. I could double the input inserters. Uh, the long arm input inserters, that is. Let's see how this goes. If we get to 25 before it's at 50%. Nope. I think it's going to be... Why is the heat shielding so slow? Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, no. Uh, I made a little boo-boo. We can fix it. Actually, I don't think I needed to delete those to do that. That's what I meant to do. Okay, didn't mean to pick up that much LDS. Thank you very much. And these can go back. Um, don't really have a feel right now for... This will be a good test right now. Will the inserters keep up or almost keep up with the machine? I'm a bit late to the party, but are you supposed to mix items on the same lane for glass? Uh, glass has actually got a belt to itself, so that's okay. But yeah, LDS was supposed to be on this side of this belt. We're not even close to picking up LDS and heat shielding fast enough. So we're very, very bottlenecked on the long arm inserters. Or at least some of them. It may have been the case, though, that... What? Oh, I see. It may have been the case, though, that it fell behind because there was no heat shielding. So I'll we'll have to give it a minute to see if this is, like, close enough. I mean, I'm sure this is going to produce way more capsules than we need overall. Okay. So once this one gets started, we should see if it's going to go to 150 LDS, I think, before it picks up heat shielding. No, it's going to go to 200. Okay. Yeah, that's not even close. Let's see if we can refactor this. So I somehow need to have a blue belt with a short inserter for two different inputs, and also a long arm for output. The inputs won't be a problem. But can we do the output? I think so. It's either going to be fast or stack. Point is, it's going to be a short inserter. Output goes here. 
that was easier than I thought it would be. Alright, let's make it happen. Yeah, that should be pretty straightforward. Now the only question is, do we need stack inserters? Uh, which I think the answer is probably. Oh. Okay, after this next recipe, I think that should be sufficient to see if we need stack inserters. I think the answer is yes. Very yes. What about for glass? 50 glass and this inserter is only doing glass. Oh, um, only 50 solar panels and accumulators, but a long arm could still be a problem there. So I might have to do this on the other side as well. May as well just assume that we'll have to. Yeah, the long arms are definitely not good enough. Looks like the stack inserters are barely good enough as well. Need the long arms here. So I think nope. nope. The Asha Slave. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just put a long handy boy next to the output. Long handy boy? Uh, I'm a little confused, but okay. What are we missing here? Accumulators. Oh, something happened. Oh, why is this a splitter? <laughs> um, no, wait, that's... That's correct, except I should have um, put this here. Okay, just pick stuff up off the belt until it's all good. That should be nothing but glass. Which it is. So now do we get to see if this is going to keep up? I think it is. Yeah, it's definitely keeping up. Four stack inserters for input. And that's without a beacon. It just barely makes it as well. It aims for double... To have double... Uh, inputs here before the recipe is finished. Oh, so that's going to go full speed, which gives us a whopping 
0.21 space capsules per second. Uh, one rocket launch every five seconds is probably more than we need, though. Um, although I would like to see these belts saturated sooner rather than later. So how many do we need? 40 before a train comes for this? Uh, I would kind of like to double check that that, that is going to work, but it's going to take a while. Well, if I never see this get to 80, if I check on it later, um, we'll know it's working. Let's get our construction spiders to resupply as well. Actually, I'll avoid running through that particular robo network for the moment. And what's happening with our military? A couple of them got scratched, otherwise fine. Not that many rockets left already. What a lovely sound. Dodgy dodgy. Oof, that UPS. Let me put perf mode on. It's a little bit better. There's another chunk of a base. Let's have them dance all the way through there. And Oh, that's as I was about to say that's as big as the base is, but no, there's more. Should be enough. Getting a little bit lazy there, but they'll probably be fine. Send them back for resupply after that one. The main thing is most of the spit will miss. We're already up to 53, 54 capsules. I have to say I'm a little bit surprised like that. I did forget to change the train length uh, for this stop. And that should be stack threshold of 40. So in a few seconds we should see that light go yellow. Which means a train is coming to pick up some capsules. Any second now. Did I turn this on? Yes. And we have 40 stacks. Yes. Oh, there it goes. Fantastic. And you are heading to this one. Nice. I'm actually kind of impressed, uh, considering... All of these train stops um, have zero capsules in them, uh, and that's been like 
consistent this whole time, they empty immediately. Uh, because it takes a lot of capsules to... It takes many, many stacks of capsules to fill this belt. Um... LTN seems to have been balancing uh, where the where these capsules go, even though it had no indication of how many capsules were at each station. So that's even better than if you have a circuit system that compares them all, like uh, like I did with vanilla. In vanilla. If all the stations are available, the train will go to the nearest one. Um, so if you have a giant circuit network connecting them all, and you do some combinator logic at each station, and set the train limit to zero if it's if it's got more than the average, um, that wouldn't have made any difference here because they're all at zero. But LTN actually has been delivering to all of these separately. And we've got all of these rockets ready to launch uh, as a result. Quite happy with that. I'm also quite happy to see uh, Vulcanite blocks getting delivered to various places. Although, not so happy that this is empty at the moment. How many uh, Iridium... We have actually been continuously making it, even the last few seconds. There's a bit of a... There are peaks and valleys, but it has been consistent. It's all bottlenecking on Vulcanite blocks for now. What rockets are used for? I just started playing the game. Uh, if you're playing vanilla, then these rockets are different. Uh, in the vanilla game... A rocket silo like this one, although this will be a little bit different, uh, you need to pour a whole lot of resources into it, and then it'll launch. Uh, technically, that's the win condition for the game, although if you want to keep going, it'll spit out uh, space science packs, which are white, and you can do uh, infinite research with that. Uh, in... Space exploration, this vanilla-ish uh, rocket silo is kind of just what gets you started. They also output um, satellite telemetry, which is needed for more advanced research. Uh, but these cargo rockets actually go to different destinations, different planets, um, such as orbit around the planet that you start on. All of these are cargo landing pads and we can launch 50, uh, sorry, 500 stacks of stuff into these with a single cargo rocket launch. I'm very happy to see Vulcanite blocks on this belt. That's, that's really good actually. Uh... Vulcanite block. In the last hour, we've been making 1.6k per minute on average. That's excellent. Oh wait, that's currently. So average is hard to say. Vanilla for now? Yep, no worries. Yeah, basically it's a giant resource sink. Um, for the last thing that you do in the game, unless you want to continue with, like, okay, now how fast can I make these rockets? Um, speaking of orbit, let's get our spiders to keep building. And we're getting pretty close to the moment where I'm going to go up there to place all of these buildings, actually. Uh, I suppose once I see all of these belts have items, that'll be it. 
I'm very surprised we don't have coal, though. Slightly less surprised we don't have uranium. Although, with just a few things missing, I'm sure we can... Uh, get some of the science packs done. Energy science in particular is what I really need to progress. But I don't think I've got a rail block system making concrete, which we need here. Coal, though. Coal is ready. I just haven't set it up. Okay. Nervous Orbit Coal. That is actually set up. Launch on cargo full. And away we go. And those are going to go to Nervous Orbit. I don't know which cargo landing pad it's going to go to because uh, you can actually have multiple... Is it this one? No. Nope. Oh, there it is. I missed the show. Uh, yeah, you can actually name multiple uh, cargo landing pads on one surface the same thing, and that cargo rocket will launch to as many of them that, as there are. So relatively soon there should be... Uh, where is it? Well, as soon as this is loaded, for that we need um, a capsule to arrive. That's going to take a little while to happen while it's automated. Um, It'll take a while, but pretty soon, relatively speaking, we'll have all of these automated systems. We'll have capsules on this belt at all times, so that would already be getting loaded. But for now, I'll go and place that manually, just so we can demonstrate. Let's check on our military spiders as well. Uh, seems like they are getting resupplied. Fantastic. It can launch to anywhere. There's an option to launch to any landing pad with same name. Oh. Thank you very much, Mass. Also good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's actually incredibly useful. Let's see. Nervous Orbit, any landing pad with same name. That's really good. Is there a downside in that if I have multiple of these, you could theoretically launch two cargo rockets at the same target at the same time? Or no? No? Nice. Well, that's extremely useful. Um, that basically means the cargo rocket deliveries can be sort of just like a train network. Uh, these are the space trains. Although they do come with the baggage of having to deal with the salvaged uh, space capsule and some cargo rocket sections on the other end. That's excellent, though. Alright, let's grab some space capsules. And... Drop it off where the coal is. Also... Out of date. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So this is where the trains will bring our capsules. They go on this side of this belt. 
And then that's going to go in here. Once that happens, we're ready to launch. And since we're not going to accidentally fill it and prevent inserting these things, the stack inserters will now put the coal in. You know what? Now might be a good time to go to space. No, I want to set up the concrete. I'll take the first concrete uh, cargo rocket into space. Let's go over here. Actually, concrete needs water, doesn't it? Let's do it. 100 water per 10 concrete. 10 seconds. We could probably have trains deliver the water, but I don't want to add more demand for that. Um, can we fit a rail block here? Yeah, we can. Let's get the construction spiders in on it. Uh, might have to get rid of some of that old rail. And I might have to... Where is this pipe going? This whole thing doesn't need a whole lot of water, right? That's surprising. Um, I thought I calculated the water consumption here. Oh, it spits water back out. Okay, so it's net consumption 112, which is not much. So I think we could just pipe the waters into this block and then have it continue down to here. That should be fine. And we've got something similar going on. Yeah, not really. Okay. Uh, I might just temporarily add some water storage here. And then we'll disconnect this. It's going to be a lot more than enough. While we're waiting for the spiders, I'll move the construction spiders up here. Fantastic. Takes in enough fuel for the farthest destination. So there's no delay there. Oh, if you point it to any with same name. Yeah. Will it, like, waste fuel if you do that? Or will it, like, spit fuel back into the, the pipe network if there's room? Uh, let's get rid of these extra power points. And... The pipes. We need to redo that rail block. Something here as well. And we need a little bit of landfill over here. That should be enough. Oh. 
Now, what was I going to build here? Concrete. Pretty sure we can't productivity module that. We cannot. Uh, how fast would it go if we used beacons? That is already 42 per second. 420 water. So I think what I'll do is build every type of concrete here. Hazard concrete. Let's see. This is a quarter of a second. Even without speed modules and no beacon, this one machine can vastly... Wait. It can almost keep up with all eight of those machines. Uh, what about this? Oh, I think I misread something there. Minus eight. So yeah, one of these can consume all of that concrete. I think we'll just put a couple of these at the end of the whole build. Uh, what do we need? Iron stick. Yuck. Stone brick and sand are in the rail network. Uh, how fast do we need each of them? Blue belt of sand, half a belt of stone brick, less than half a belt of iron stick. So... Also need to make room for the pipes. Might have to stretch this out a little bit. If we do this kind of input again, put it like that just in case we're going to wait. That was like half a blue belt, right? Yeah, so we should be able to copy this down here. Five point two per second. I think a stack inserter can keep up with that. Cool. So we're going to have sand on one belt. And stone brick and iron stick on the other belt. And that's starting to add up to a lot of water already. Just one of these is um, most of one pipe. It will give us two belts of concrete output, though, already. Wow. I don't think we're going to be using all of the space here. Uh, so let's see. That actually just happens to leave room for pipes like this as well. I think I like where this is going. Obviously, it's going to be a problem to have pipes in the middle. Each machine does 5.25 output. So, stack inserter. Uh, 
uh, except it's two blue belts of output. So how am I going to find room for that? These would be outputting to only one side. So we need a splitter here so that that side can merge to there, that side can merge to there. That seems fine. Uh, does that substation have to be here? Probably. Let's copy this over this side. Except that goes there. That goes here. Actually... I don't suppose you have the space pipes, do you? No. This is fine. A 3B pipe to connect those would be nice, but I don't really feel like going to get them. I don't suppose it's possible to... Maybe. No, not really. That'll go there. That seems pretty good, actually. Two blue belts of input for sand. One belt for in, uh, input for stone brick. And iron stick isn't a problem. We only need 16.8 iron stick per second. Let me just confirm again, this doesn't prod. Um, we could probably arrange for four belts of sand to come in, two belts of stone break. We need to figure out the, the amount of iron plate that we're going to need. Iron stick, whoops. Where did those bots come from? Oh, I see. They were placing uh, just a little bit of landfill. Fish. Alright, let's grab some power. So this will produce 36, no, 95 uh, sticks per second. And it only takes 36 iron plate. What? Oh. Let's just confirm that this is going to be more than enough. Way more than enough. We we need less than one blue belt of iron sticks. Uh, 33.6 is what we're looking for. That's... Wait, what? That is... Oh, I was looking at the iron, not the sticks. So we actually only need three of these. And only 13.5 iron plate per second. Alright. So... Uh, four belts of input for sand, two belts for stone brick, and one for iron. I think I know how I'm going to lay this out. Let's 
So over here we'll do the sand. It's going to look a lot like our input that we stole from green circuits that we used for batteries over here. Like so. Wait, that's eight belts. Uh, yeah, we don't need to go that far. Wait, how many... How much sand do we need? 168. Uh, I'm pretty sure... This on just one side will keep up with that. Okay. So that's going to be sand. Uh, iron plate on one side. I might just copy this for starters. And on the side... Uh, stone brick. Oh, they already placed that. Cool. Stone brick moves here. Iron plate. Definitely don't need to have that style of output for this one, since it's going to be hardly any iron plate that we actually need. There's something like 16, right? Wait, what? 35... 33.6. Yeah, 13.5 iron plate per second. I think we can get away with yellow inserters for that. Oh, I didn't realize I had those in my inventory. And... Connect them all up. Read hand contents hold. Everything equals zero. Copy across here. And this goes here. Read belt contents hold. Should be sufficient. might just move this a little bit for the moment. We're going to need 90 per second from our concrete. Balanced and loaders, right 90 per second. And this one is 170 or so per second. Sand. That should be negative average of four cargo wagons. Cool. Oh. Goes there. Goes there and there. Um, just double checking. Those are all on their own independent wire, so not connected to any combinators or anything. Don't have to worry about, like, some kind of weird crosstalk. And then, I think we'll have iron go this way. 
Actually, it makes a whole lot of sense for the iron to go down here. And then we just need three of these. goes... Does that reach? Yeah, it does. But then there's no power up here. Let's double check that lines up. Yep, looks good. And that goes there. That's actually already powered. Fantastic. How fast are these individually? 11 iron sticks per second. That's uh, more than I accounted for. So we need at least two stack inserters to keep up with that. Uh, and how much iron? 4.5. That's probably one stack inserter. In fact, I'm sure it's one stack inserter. So we're going to need to... We need more than half a belt for the iron sticks. How... How do we output this? That goes there. Nice. We can just do it like that. And the beacon is still powered by this thing. Fantastic. Now we just figure out where this goes. Uh, we need iron plate to be on half a belt with stone brick, actually. But the total stone brick we need uh, was like two blue belts. Hmm. One, two, three, four. So we'll split this twice. And we need to merge the uh we need to merge the sticks with it. Let's try it there. We're not going to use up all this space anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about making it all snug this time. Hmm. Just trying to think of the best way to merge these. We'll start with the sticks. Which belt should it be? I think this needs to be moved a bit further down, actually. I'll bring it all the way down here and move it further up if it can be a bit more snug. It would probably be easier to do it this way. And... This one's a bit different, isn't it? I guess it doesn't matter which belt is which. We could do the sticks and stone brick on the left each time. So that would go here, and here, and finally here. And this one goes like this.
One, two. Three and four. Probably make that a bit tighter. Not really. Actually, like that. And then this can go here. Alright, so to there and to there seems good. And this obviously doesn't have to be a splitter. like that's not going to look neat no matter what I do. Alright, and it should be pretty trivial to get the sand where it needs to go. That goes here. Could I have been consistent with where the sand goes? Would that be easy? I think it would actually. Move this over one tile. That goes there. Um, move this over one tile. This goes here. A Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, the excess days. I don't know what that was about. It can launch to anywhere. There's an option to say any pad with name. It doesn't. Uh, you won't get a double launch if there's multiple uh, cargo rockets ready. It takes in enough fuel. Oh, the fuel. Yeah, that's right. The excess stays. Cool. Excellent. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, so, this one. Goes here, this goes here. That's our sand. And here. And then it's just a question of if we can save a little bit of space and getting enough water in. Um, I'm really not concerned about space this time though. I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure all of the other. Concrete recipes. Oh. Well then. This one obviously just takes concrete. Uh, refined concrete, though, requires steel, and we might need some more iron stick, but that's pretty trivial. Uh... I don't really want to bother with the refined concrete, if I'm honest. Um, as long as it turns out that... You know, we don't actually need the reinforced concrete. Well, it'll be pretty easy to finish this build for now. There's also quite a bit of space left over. What am I doing here? Oh, right. 
Can we move this over a little bit? And then this can go here. And this goes here. Now I want that to line up. And last but not least. Oops. I'm actually surprised we only have a couple of tiles to spare here. If that. Okay. Let's remind ourselves how much water this requires. Uh, 1.6k, we need two pumps to support this. And I need the middle pipe to be connected to the others, I think. Or we could just run three pipes up. Make sure we've got way more than enough. I think I'd rather find somewhere... Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Even if I move the beacons, that's going to be where that underground already lines up. Um... So I guess we need a pipe up here somewhere. That's actually pretty snug. I'd rather be consistent with which side the substations are on, especially since we're doing this with the pipes. And now we just need two pumps to reach this. There's still room for steel up here. Maybe I should arrange to make uh, reinforced concrete. 168 concrete per second. I'm actually kind of shocked that we can get so much out of just this build. Uh, reinforced concrete takes... Uh, 15 seconds as opposed to 10. And it requires 20 concrete. Missing underground lane number four. Rods in. This one? Well, that would be sand, I think, but yeah. Was that it? Oh, this one. Okay, cool. Thank you. And this one here. That also means we missed these. Find concrete. That also requires water. 100 per 10. Jeez. For this, how quickly do you consume concrete? Seven per second. Okay, so we don't need as many machines for that. Uh, 
does it really make sense to... I would need to have a little um, robo network here to give like the reinforced concrete to myself or the spiders. No, I think we'll do that build somewhere else if we're going to do it. Because I'm pretty sure it's just going to be regular concrete um, that needs to be put in the rail network. So all that remains is actually... I may as well bring the rail up here. Nice and close. Something like this. That might be a little too close. Uh, train stop goes about here. What is... Oh. So we need a belt here, a belt here, a belt here, and a belt here. Pretty straightforward. Just set this up like so. And that one's a little bit different. That's fine. Oh, uh, minor detail. I didn't leave room for the chests. Uh, 24 stack. Balanced loader. Since this is going to be nearly 180 per second, uh, I think we'll have to allow these to go above average, to go at full speed. And then some stack inserters for input. Uh, I'm definitely moving this up a couple of tiles. How many? One, two, three. Yeah, two tiles. Oop. And a boop. And I guess we can do this here. Okay, you can go this way, um, I don't think we'll have a train coming in from that direction, no need to worry about that. The train can also leave this way if it wants to, and come in this way. Cool. And then we just do a standard pickup station. Uh, red wire goes here. Technically don't have to bother with the name, but I'm going to. Concrete provider. And we're going to need to get some pumps to bring the water down here. Kind of want the undergrounds to reach here.
How many tiles is that on that side? Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Goes there. And I don't suppose that's going to work. Almost. I can live with that. Symmetry is nice. Uh, does that have to be one more tile wide over there? That's, uh, unfortunate. Why don't we move it over a bit? Could you please show me quick your iron mine slash melting factory? Sure. Uh, do you mean... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the smelters? Does that reach? Yeah. Uh, so here we have uh, Omni Smelter set up. We've got a half belt of input to each row of this for six different items. Um, iron, copper, iron plate, stone, and sand and vulcanite block. Um, that's not enough to keep up if it was going constantly on one resource, but what we do is, uh, oh, that's the overflow chest, that's why. Uh, what we do is share a chest between two resources, and we're using the crafting combinator mod to control what recipe we're on. It's actually finished right now. We've caught up with every... This has happened again. And again. And again. And again and again. Why does this happen in groups, I wonder? Let's check our power network real quick. Did we... I'm not seeing any evidence of... Oh, what is that? I wonder if we had a power crash, like, 2.7 2 hours ago. So big. Thanks, no worries. Uh, yeah, so basically, it's an Omni Smelter setup. We need to use the Crafting Combinator mod to make that happen. Um, the When it switches recipes, the stuff that's in here... Uh, gets thrown into what's called the overflow chest, which is this one. Uh, we've got a filter inserter. Nothing fancy, literally just a filter inserter. And luckily we only need to get rid of five things here. Uh, five possible finished products go here. This one's just a normal outserter. Um... And yeah, I've set this up with a sushi belt system before. That got complicated and messy. Um, the way it's set up now is it's all just direct belt input to be able to smelt five things. Um, we're really pushing the limit of what we can do with belts here. But yeah, basically sand in particular, the belts are not enough to keep up if we were constantly making glass, but overall we, we, that doesn't actually happen. We don't need to constantly make glass if we've got enough of these. And it fills up sand. Uh, where is our sand actually? That's a little bit surprising. Well, normally um, while we're not smelting glass, this chest, uh, here is filling up with a lot of sand. Um, so by the time we do switch back to sand, we can make 
tens of thousands of sand, uh, glass before we need to switch to something else. Alright. I guess I really need to... Actually, I'm kind of surprised because we've got this backup power system here. Maybe it got disconnected or something. Doesn't seem like it. We've got a massive backup power system, so I don't know how we ended up with... Uh, possibly a crash in power. It's really hard to see. It looks like the accumulators did okay, maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. But I'm going to need to fix this... Uh... Either this train somehow came here with copper, or the inserters ended up sticking out, and the train got copper put in it. Uh, first things first, grab all the inserters trying to stick out. What are you doing? Oh, I see. That should fix it. Except, I need to wait till the train is full and then stop these inserters from sticking out. We do have a clever circuit to ensure that doesn't happen, but it seems to only work 99.9% .9 of the time, and I don't know why. My suspicion is we have occasional power problems and that messes up the timing but I haven't been able to confirm it I could confirm it by putting this on its own little power network but given the position it's in uh, that would be tricky and one two three three more of these trains to fix. Uh, pop, uh, pop, uh. Let's go... oh, never mind. That was faster than I realized it would be. I note there's no copper sticking out after the fact. It must be just an inserter or two that was sticking out before. Why is it trying to insert copper? Okay. This one. There is one solution to this that would definitely never fail, which is just have one inserter um, and always set it to stack size of one for each cargo wagon. Obviously, that would uh, that would take a little bit longer to load than I would be happy with. Of course, this is only necessary if you're come up, oh, found a culprit. That's interesting, actually. Why is it? Um... Why is it one of these ones? So there's a green wire and a red wire here. Red wire connects all of these. And green wire is for when we switch to just one more inserter to load each cargo wagon. And I know it was one of the red wire only inserters that was sticking out. That shouldn't happen. Also, if we had a little dip in power, why did we get all of these trains having that problem? Did they all arrive at the exact same moment? I don't think so. So what we're going to see here in a moment is... 
those five stop swinging, and then that one's set to stack size one, and then we don't get any inserters sticking out afterwards. How does this occasionally fail? I wonder. I could maybe set it so that... No, that's not going to work. I could set, I was thinking I could set the threshold higher to where we switch over to just one more inserter. But given the way I've cut down the number of combinators here, that might be difficult. Hmm, something to think about. Alright, let's grab our speedy spider. And it's about time we set up the requests for this rail block. Uh, let's get in my spider so I'm not scared of getting hit by a train. And while it's walking back here, iron plate, two train loads, stone brick, two train loads, and sand. Two train loads. And we just need some substations over here. Should be some trains heading this way. Oh, nope. Now there should be some trains heading this way quite soon. Also, no, don't, before you do that, before you do that, there we go. Uh, let's set the names of the stations. Iron plate plus stone brick requester. And this should be sand requester. Although I noticed earlier that we seem to not have any sand. Hold on. I think I've checked this before, but are sand and stone the same stack-wise? Well, ignoring the productivity bonus, um, two sand is one stone, but it stacks to four times the size. It's way more stack effective. Bring it in as sand. We're also going to need some water coming in. Right about there. And... Whoops. Wanted that one in the middle. Substation goes here. Power pole goes here. That'll do. Did we place all of those already? Seems like it. Nice. Now we just have to figure out what's wrong with sand. Um, nothing, apparently. We may have just reached the point where our demand for sand is more than 114 per second. Now that's something as well. Um, this uses the same system, although it's a little bit different. Uh, this is an older version of it. To precisely load the sand. Oh, it's 
Hmm. Yeah, that should... If there's an error in the logic that's the same as that other station, trains that are dropping off stone should sometimes... Oh no, I see what's different about this. Noise Crypt, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Intbot, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. And Warita. Um, all right. We need some more sand production, as weird as that sounds. We do have a stone mine right here. Might take advantage of that. Even though we've got unlimited stone in the rail network and we're always trying to get rid of it. So maybe not. What's your problem? Oh, you haven't unloaded all your cargo. What's going on here? Huh? There's no... Set filters, whitelist... The bots are not active. How did this stop working? Set filters whitelist, and we sometimes output delivery cannon capsule. Read belt contents hold. There's no stone here, that's the problem. Well, that shouldn't necessarily be required, should it? Let's go fix that real quick. We've got coal trains queuing up to get rid of coal from the network, but I thought... Oh, that's right. Coal didn't get sent up to Nalvis orbit for a different reason. It wasn't that we had run out of coal. Should be on the belt, yes, and over here. Oh. Uh, the other thing I don't want to forget is we need sand. I could do a stone drop off here and process the sand locally. Uh, considering how much space it doesn't take uh, to nearly do two well, to, to get 114 cent per second, that's we actually need a lot more than that for the concrete, don't we? 168. Yeah, I'm actually surprised how long it took before we started running out of sand. Alright, in that case I'll actually do an entire block. Um, to deal with the sand. Stone. There we go. Oh, the bots just took things from me as well. Do I have a trash train here? I think I do. Deadly pineapple? Oh, this is a requester. Okay. And this is trash pickup. There we go. But I th thought I had... Oh. 
All right, let's turn off logistic requests for a second. I'm just going to take this stuff away. There's even portable RTGs here. Why don't we just do it like that? Need to figure out... Well, I figured this out before, I'll copy it from there, but... I need to set requests and put things in this chest that are not here to be destroyed. But for now, this'll do. Should be a train on the way to pick that up. You're trying to go somewhere else. And you are apparently out of fuel. Does this not insert? Really? Okay. How about this? Don't know what to do about that, uh... We've got some stone here, right? That'll give us some cannons. That'll destroy those chests. Or some of them anyway, and that'll hopefully make room. That's a lot of coal. Yeah, that's going to be a problem to fix. Can you maybe just go back to depot for now just to make room here? And hopefully we can get some stone delivered here. Oh, that didn't take long. Okay, so that should sort that out, I hope. Back to whatever we were doing earlier. Are these guys resupplied? Yes. Let's bring them back into it. Seems like there's a little fighter base here. Actually, I can peek it right now. There is not. Let's clean up those little bases. And then... Zigzag through there. It should take care of that one. And that should be enough for one trip. Back to the mall, I think. It will die? No, I don't think so. <laughs> We've got, uh, like maybe 20 spiders here, and they've all got 800 rockets and a lot of shielding. And I've set a path where they're going to dodge most of the spit. All right, before we forget, let's get started on a sand block. Oh, actually, let's put it up here. That way, the sand to get to these uh, smelters, it's going to be a very short trip. Are you under attack? Yeah, always. Well, this gets marked as stuff is getting damaged, so there's a lot of false positives there, but the biters also attack quite often. Uh, there's always a few little expansions coming into the pollution. Well, more than a few, it looks like. Alright, so what's it going to look like if we use an entire rail block? Um, 
just for sand. We're going to want eight belts of output from each of these stations. We might even want to do that more than twice. That train is still out of fuel. Why does this not refuel it? Oh. Does that work? Yes, finally. Uh, how are you still... Wh what? I guess it has to be straight to get refueled. Okay. I'll fix that up a little bit later. Where are our spiders? Here they come. Copy this, give it a little flip, and that goes there. Uh, this goes here, I believe. And these go here. Yes, good. Alright, let's steal our 8 belt output from this thing. Doesn't line up. And here. Um, and I'll just do a quick copy-paste of this for starters. So we don't have to figure out that again from scratch. Let's get some power... So this is 114 sand per second, only requires 28 stone in. Oh, um, the input is stone and the output is sand, which is way, way, way more of it. Um, I don't think our input stations are going to be that chunky. So it's really just going to be a question of how many output stations we can fit, I think. I don't know. Could be wrong. So, how many times could we reasonably fit this? Also, there's no way to make... I think there is a way to make this touch six of these, isn't there? Just barely? Yeah. Although, I may have previously found that that'll oversaturate two blue belts. Which is probably fine. Although, the input's gonna have to be in the middle. That's nearly four blue belts of sand just from that. Wow. And nearly one blue belt of stone input. That's actually a great ratio. Uh, so, how many does each use individually? 7.2 stone per second. I think we're looking at two stack inserters for each machine. Could you give me some belt, please? It's a little bit easier to design this way. So that's our input. Output for each one is 28. I wish I knew exactly how many... Um, 
stack in soda 2.49. Per second. Is that is that how that works? Per second. Twenty eight point five one two send. Inserters. Surely this doesn't mean we would need twelve inserters to output to keep up with it. Per machine, 2.49. Oh. Is that telling me I need two and a half inserters? Let's suppose that's correct. Um, each side gives us two blue belts of output. Wow. Uh, let's see. Is it less than half a blue belt here? It's more than half a blue belt. That's challenging. So, like this. Has to be this close together if we're going to use one beacon. Belt output for this is actually going to be pretty complicated. The inserters are picky. That's all of a three degree angle. Uh, I don't think I understand. Also, sick bastard, Duven. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again, sick bastard. And, uh,. I don't know if I've seen Divin before, but I think I must have. You don't chat that much, right? What do you mean by that's all of a three degree angle? We're going to need substations on the outside, I think. Even if I had this go both ways, that wouldn't really work. A hey, Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Probably talking about the fuel loading... Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Yes. I think we're going to have to extend this up a little bit. And delete that. And then, I think the... Oh, I see. Yeah, we're going to have to move this up a bit. If I'd realized how quickly I could fix this, I probably would have done it sooner. Um, this goes here, I suppose. Move that. Bring this up here. And that is fueling the train already. Fantastic. Alright then. I think we should just use extra inserters um, so that we're putting on Putting things on both sides of the belt, coming from each of these. It's a little bit overkill, but it simplifies it in such a way that we're not going to mess it up. And then... This isn't going to be enough. Uh, we definitely need more than one blue belt. So, like this, 
This is going to be more than one blue belt. Almost two full blue belts for the whole thing. So we're going to have to... Do a proper merge. Like that. One, two... Oh, that's not going to work that well. I guess in this case, that's just going to be straightforward. And this one is going to have to have a merger like that. Why don't you use shoots for output? Uh, I don't know what you mean by shoots, but if the if you're referring to loaders, we don't have them. Um, I didn't. I didn't use those this playthrough. Let's do underground here and here. On the other side, on the other side as well. Right. So that's almost four blue belts of sand for almost one blue belt of stone. Um, the question is just how much input output can we fit? The only thing I don't like about this is... Um, having to do this with the signals, with the crisscrossy thing. That's weird. Oh, no it isn't. just goes here actually and then we need can't fit that signal there oh because there's a tree in the way okay so can I still do this yes perfect and that train should be able to go that way. Fantastic. Green stop goes where exactly? That one doesn't line up where it usually would. I'll put this here. And that goes there, I think. Yes, good. And then I think we'll aim to do four of these in the entire block, which is only going to require four blue belts of input from stone. Um, we're not going to need to use as much space for the input stations. Is that right? Yeah, that's that's fine. And then can we fit all blue belts going to each of these stations? I think I would like to have a I guess we don't need a balancer. Each of these is going to feed to one station. So I want this one to be as far to the left as possible, possibly. Or a little bit a little bit off of that. And we're gonna have one, two, three, 
Um, I wonder if that was not a wise placement. Bring that up a bit. Over here we have... One, two, three, four. That's not quite right. And this goes over here. One, two, three, four. It's actually pretty straightforward. We actually have plenty of space still. Placement's a little bit unfortunate. Kind of. Actually, let's put that here. That would look better, maybe. Uh, okay. Seems good. I never thought of doing it this way. That might actually be better. Like... A lot better. Uh, the... Locomotive at the end would be in a bit of a corner, but... That's fine. Is it tree in the way still? And that means you can get rid of whatever random nonsense this is. Uh, put back a normal rail block. Although that part's not necessary. Neither are those signals. And then we can just put this here. Nice. And here I was just trying to figure out different places that, uh, or confirm that there are only some sort of specific heights that this rail can be. I don't think I played with these signals yet, so that's fine. Uh, this goes here, and this goes here. Fantastic. Where would be the most... best spot for the undergrounds there? Okay. And we could probably move that all over a little bit. I feel like that's going to look better. Right then. Let's mirror this over here. And this.
this one over here. Uh, I'll blueprint that so that I can remove the pulverizers so that I can rotate the whole thing. I'll flip it rather. That looks right. And I may not have left enough room in the middle. I did not. I don't think we can do these four side to side like that. Yeah, no, there's not enough room to do it this way. So that's fine. I'll leave that as it is. I'll put this one... Uh, this is the left middle. One, two. That's as close to the middle as it could be. I thought I was going to space those out a bit more, but I think this looks fine, actually. We're really not going to get any better than this. Um, so we just need four belts of stone, which is pretty easy. I'm actually a little tempted to have uh, lots and lots of chests here just to have more storage for the stone. I think we might do that. Yeah. So we'll use like a standard, um, we actually only need one belt of output from each station if we do it this way, or each half a station, if that makes sense. So that makes it pretty easy. We're going to do... This one coming down here. Use some undergrounds. That lines up nicely. That'll do. This goes here. Um, I guess do this like so. Spooters, I can't see. Oops. And then. Uh, I might move that over one tile. That's going to look a bit neater anyway. It's, I think it's going to be symmetrical. 
Let's see. Yeah, I think that's right. Yep, seems good. Whoops. And we should probably use some undergrounds here. What the? I normally wouldn't do the corners this way, but the way that lines up is too good. set up everything equals zero read end contents hold was it this one which did I just click on there it is uh, this goes here read belt contents hold Actually, is that going to give us a full belt? We're about to find out. Could iron ore deplete? Yes and no. Um, let's remove that. Uh, iron ore deposits can run out, but we've got core mining, which is infinite. Yeah, uh, coal mining is infinite resources, but it's a bit of a pain to deal with because when you break down the core fragments, you get a very specific ratio of resources, which will not necessarily coincide with what you need. Is coal mining a vanilla thing? No, it is not. Um... There's technically finite resources in vanilla, but the further you get from the center of the map, the richer the uh, the mines are, to the point where you're getting millions and millions and millions for each mine. Uh, so let's cop. Wait. Need to copy this and this. There we go. And this side too. Um, I guess there's room to squeeze this through here. Not that we need to. Let's do it this way. Oh. That's fine. So that will give us, I think that'll give us a full blue belt. Um, I don't know if that'll work with the balanced unloading or not. We don't quite need a full blue belt. 43.2. Remains to be seen if those inserters will uh, pull it off. Uh, this is going to be a stone requester. A Seifer Cup. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Thank you very much for the raid, and how was your stream? Uh, let's grab a standard drop-off. A Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I name these stations? I think I just did. Nope, not that one. There we go. And I think for each of these we would like to have all of the stone, actually. Since the whole point of doubling that was uh, having more storage. Uh, let's see. We can fit... Uh, this much stone. I'll dial it back just a little bit to make sure we don't go over. Let's call it 100k. That's a couple of train loads short of being completely full. And we need to do same build over here, but not. But mirror it. Should do it. That should already be lined up uh, to put the stone over here. Wait, why was that set up like that? Kind of a weird choice. Okay. Sa uh, stone is incoming. Let's get some substations before it gets here. That's weird. I think I can live with that as long as it's consistent on the other side. It looks like it will be. Yeah, I can live with that. That's fine. Alright, so is this going to keep the belt saturated? Almost. There's just a little gap when it gets through here. We could maybe just not read this part of the belt. So as soon as all of the inserters... Then they're going to get slightly out of sync is the only thing. But I think we can live with that. Just a couple of them are going to be out of sync. They'll still empty evenly. Not evenly enough. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Considering that one's 10 off, I'm beginning to wonder. That did not take long. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Sand. Provider. And... We need the standard... Pick up. And stack balanced loader. Some stack inserters over here. Set these to be allowed to go a hundred ahead of the average, so they go faster. And connect 
looks like so. I guess we'll just copy that part. And on this side, we need some substations. Let's start down here. Unfortunately, we can't line up that one the same. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, that hurts a little bit. Okay. What about over here, actually? Not even. Kind of the same rub, except... We're one tile off being able to have it come from that pole, and then have this one cover the rest. Unfortunate. What if we do it like this? Then this one would be a bit overkill. Alright. Same thing on the other side. And don't forget to connect to the wiring. And the wiring. And that should be it. We should be seeing a train arrive for this stuff pretty soon. Although we are bottlenecked on uh, the inserters. Well, not actually anymore, but we were f at first. We do need to load 32,000 sand before a train will come. In one individual station, that is. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's do a save real quick. And give it a radar before we forget. So I think we're going to have enough sand for whatever it was we needed it. There it is. Oh, great. Let's send our spiders back for resupply for a sec. Um, military spiders should have their rockets by now. Yeah, it looks like they're all full. Let's send them back up here. And it's a pretty chunky base, actually. Just going to assume there's enemies everywhere here. Right. So I think all that was left for our concrete build was... Uh, that's unfortunate. Can we have it like this? That's not too bad. Eh? Yes. I don't think we're going to have trouble with, like, water throughput. 
but just in case. Oh, and I almost forgot to connect water back up to this thing down here. I guess I didn't actually need to remove these pipes. That's a surprisingly good fit. through here, I guess. I need some more underground pipe. Spiders are uh, in the middle of getting resupplied. Okay, did I not set the request for sand here? I did. Do we not have 32k in one of these? Oh, there we go. They're probably getting sent to the smelters first, because those are a higher priority. Uh, where's the sand drop-off? Down here? Priority is 10. So it's going to take as, as much sand as we're making, which is a lot. Uh, 45... Wait, what? This is 44k. Yeah, yeah, we're doing about 44k per minute. About 733 per second. Most of that here. You're going to the smelters as well, okay. Well, I guess I'll just... Uh, for now, I'll just suppose that... We do, in fact, have concrete in the rail network. Um, and if it turns out I'm wrong, it'll be a pretty quick fix. So that... Uh, looking back at the orbital base, we've got just about everything. That is iridium plate. Why do we still not have iridium plate and uranium? And this is concrete. And vitamolange extract I'm a little bit surprised by. Uh, do we even have... I don't think we have Vitamolange core fragments yet, do we? Okay, so this is all of the Vitamolange processing. Uh, those are nuggets, I think. Nugget. And we need nugget to make roast. And we need roast to make extract. And... Okay, so we've kind of run out of bit on melange. I think the only place we were getting bit on melange from was here. Uh, it looks like the mine has run out. So... Yeah. We could make another mine on this planet somewhere for bit melange, if I can see it somewhere. I actually can't find any. Or we could look for a planet. There's only one, actually. There's one core... Uh, Vitamolange core fragment planet. Actually, I want to check something. Um, there is such a thing, right? As a Vitamolange core fragment. Yes, good. Why did I stop here? So... Threat 33% and Bita Meteors. And Solar is really bad. Penium. 
penny. It's this big one. Which means it's... Oh, that's a huge planet. And it's going to take a lot to... Um, it's going to take a lot of fuel to get off the planet again. But that's fine. There's also a mysterious structure there we want to check out. So that's two reasons we need to come to this planet specifically. Uh, I think this is the first one we've colonized where, apart from Tolobai, which had biters and biter medias, but it was very, very small. Uh, this is by far the biggest uh, problem that we've got militarily to go to another planet. So I think what we'll do is take a lot of spiders. And maybe a lot, a lot of spiders and have them uh, loaded up with lasers in particular. Loop with our portable RTG technology with only 300 kilowatts, we can't rely much on lasers. That might not be so effective. Although I think we have better shields than vanilla now. Maybe just a walking pile of shield, battery, and laser? I mean, that's what we've already got. It'd just be a different ratio. Maybe more batteries instead of two RTGs. Still got plenty of rockets. And let's get this one next. That should be okay. But yeah, I think we're actually... We're actually going to have to build defensive walls uh, to take the Vitamelange core mining. I don't particularly look forward to having to set up logistics uh, to regularly send bots and ammo and stuff. If we had the shield technology, um, that would be a game changer, but that is pretty far off. Alright. What planets have I been to that have Vitamelange on them already? Uh, I thought Tolibai did, but I don't see any more of it. Is it just hard to spot? Vitamelange, 220k, that's not that great. It's also on the edge of the planet, which is a bit of a nuisance. I don't see any more over here either. Uh, 71k there, that's really not that much. Let's check all the planets we've been to. Not seeing any Vitae at all so far. Oh, this is Orbit. Uh, Tolibai, that was the one we were just looking at. It's actually just Tolibai. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to Penium relatively soon. Although I think the Vitamelange is only needed for the bioscience, right? 
There was another tiny one mid southwest. Uh, pink pajamas, thank you. Mid southwest. Is that uranium? Or was there also. Oh, there it is. 95k. Alright. That's going to be more than a little bit of a nuisance to get at as well. I think I would rather go to the new planet to get the Vitamelange. Still waiting on that sand for concrete. Oh, there's something not built here. Um, yeah, sand is still going, I guess. 38k, 102k. Did I not set this station up properly? I did not. Okay, let's double our... Well, more than double the rate that trains are going to pick up sand from the rail network with this one weird trick. Morning, Sir Welshie. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't know if I just said that for pink pajamas, but welcome, welcome also. It might be worth looking for a planet in another solar system. I don't know if I have the technology to go there yet. Also, delivery cannons don't work through uh, beyond the solar system, right? There we go. Much better. That's a lot of sand. I don't suppose we're already getting a delivery over here. Not yet. I should also remember to place a radar next time I'm there. And I don't know what I want to be manufacturing next. Is there no... There's no radar in this block, but there are nearby other blocks that have radar. Okay. I could work on green science, but I feel like that can wait for a bit. We have vulcanite blocks here. What's happening? Oh. Oh. It's actually iridium powder that we're stuck on now. Okay. Where's our iridium core fragments? Not here. Iridium core fragments. We've got 12k. 16k is a train load. How much plate have we made lately? Iridium. Uh, 12 in the last 10 minutes. Just dropping down to zero now. Iridite, powder, ingot, and blue is plate. In the last hour, we've made... I guess it's an average of 554 per minute. And this started three hours or so ago. It's not great, but at least we do finally have a consistent flow uh, of iridium. I don't suppose it's anywhere near enough to get iridium plate delivered up here yet. I thought... Did we not... Oh, there it is. Nervous orbit iridium plate. Let's double check that... It has been set up correctly here. Now this orbit iridium plate. Yeah, we're just waiting on a lot more plate. We got girders here as well. Um, how much? I can't actually tell because it's not connected to a... Uh, to a combinator or something. That's odd. Novice Orbit Girder, Launch Trigger, Launch on Cargo 4. Um, 
Why are these not... Cargo rocket... There's no... Huh? Oh, I did... I just didn't... Connect that wire. I'm surprised I missed one of those. I thought it'd be quite... Methodical with that. I guess I missed this entire block. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and Iridium Plate is here. Nice. Uh, about 1.2k times 24, 28,000. And this can fit... 20,000. We're about to launch a cargo rocket for Iridium Plate. Nice. I didn't realize uh, it only stacked to 40, so I suppose this is sort of more Iridium Plate than I thought. Like, I was thinking of it in the scale of Iron Plate. Cannons, no. Rocket launches, yes. Okay. So just cargo rockets can go interstellar? The research that finds new planets works on other solar systems. You can also launch satellites from the solar orbit. Interesting. That is loading rather quickly. Well, kind of. Nice. Glad I double-checked all that. And we finally have sand coming to the concrete build. I want to see it. Probably one of the trains that's getting loaded right now. Yeah, because it takes quite a while to load. Almost thought this wasn't moving for a second there. A mess. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They work, but the chance of landing is abysmal and need a lot of fuel. So you could use a cargo rocket to get somewhere yourself interstellar, but you wouldn't want to use it uh, for logistics consistently. Launching from a 9,000 size planet also costs a lot of fuel. Yeah, I'm sure. Does it cost any more energy from, uh, to use... Why are you going so slowly? That is weird. Okay, here we go. Uh, does it cost more energy to use a delivery cannon to launch from a bigger planet, for example? I would imagine it probably does. Landing research can get it over 90%. Okay. And here we go. Is this build going to work properly first time? Uh... Did I not set a request for iron plate here? I did. Oh, I didn't... Oh, there's one. <laughs> if this is the only mistake in this whole thing, I don't know whether to be pleased or upset. Looks like the inserters can keep up pretty easily. In fact, I... Almost think stack inserters were overkill. But no, not really. And there goes our concrete. Already 700, 800, 900, 1000. That's kind of fast. 90% is very bad, I think. Yeah, if you're consistently using it 
to send like rockets full of cargo uh, that's bad, but if you just want to go somewhere, it's no big deal. Had a uranium planet in the star closest to Calidus? Some 9,000 radius. Launch cost to Navas was 237,000 liquid fuel. Landing chance was 95%, despite survivability research. Wow. Even with 98%, they crash an annoying amount of the time. Yeah, I mean, I've had a couple of crashes, um, already. Alright, so that is concrete, uh, stacks to 100, doesn't it? So 16k. I kind of just want to confirm that a train will come and pick this up, take it to the rocket, and that the rocket is already functional. Concrete. Nervous orbit concrete. Launch on cargo full. Seems good. Oh, didn't set the request. There we go. Except I think the numbers I was setting here, yeah, 50k. I want to keep enough here to fill a cargo rocket. I probably missed it, but... Oh, we didn't miss it. Or is this another... Can you tell me this is another cargo rocket with Iridium plate? I don't think so. It is. Fantastic. And the fact that the bots are picking this up now tells me... The launch was not that long ago. Right. So I think all that's left is uranium and vitamelange. Well, specific, specific, specifically vitamelange extract. Uh, train should be coming to pick up concrete quite soon. 18k. Any second now. Provide stack threshold. 20,000. That's all connected. Concrete. Oh, I think that's it. There we go. Oh, you're picking up concrete from somewhere else. That's just rude. I forgot that we had this here. Um, I think as soon as this train is full... Wait, is this what I think it is? This tells us what we've got here. This is a provider. Okay, so it's not some weird automatic system that I forgot about. I was going to say I'm surprised I didn't see this happen sooner, but yeah, I forgot that I didn't put the request for concrete in. Um, that's one way to do it, but the main bus base is going to cry if we consistently use it like that. Can we get rid of those requests at least? I was, uh, I was waiting for the train to be on its way so I could get rid of these chests. You know what, why don't we just leave? And we also don't need... We don't need this station at all now, actually. 
I'll leave it... I'll leave the rail here just in case I want to use that again. And I think that concrete was headed over here, wasn't it? Yes. There it goes. And I'm pretty sure the instant that is unloaded, um, we should see another train scheduled to come pick this up. Didn't have any good vulcanite planets in Calidus except for waterless ones. Though it was a planet that specialized in making liquid fuel. There I go, reading chat backwards. What the? That looks weird. Okay. Train is coming here, I think. Yes, fantastic. That's what I want to see. Right then, what should we do next? Let's go back to base for resupply while I'm thinking about it. Wait, are those bots still? No, we're good. Spiders, do your thing. I should probably tidy up those little expansions. And bring them all the way back here. Just in case there's a base there. How many rockets have they got? Like half or so. In that case, after you clean that out, go back for more. Uh, I would like to continue building this base, actually. In fact, it's probably about time I head up there myself. I can't actually think of anything else that we need to do on Nalvis to support this base. We need to get Vidamelange from somewhere else. Concrete is on its way. Uh, uranium. Did I, or did I not set? I did. Nervous Orbit U-235, launch on cargo full. There's just not that much uranium. Um, I suppose I could launch it early. We do get an infinite supply of uranium sent here in the form of core fragments, but it takes its sweet time. That's weird. I guess it's not, actually. So how many uranium core fragments do we have? 2.7k. It doesn't seem very good. Over the last hour, we've been doing 553 per minute, so, sorry, is it 16,000? Yeah, it is. Um, that's half an hour to get one train load of core fragments. Which is going to be not that much uranium, I think. Two uranium for 16 core fragments. Plus the productivity bonus of 32%. Um, so 1,000... 
2,000 times 1.32. Twenty twenty six hundred and forty uranium every half hour or so, or, or a bit less. And that becomes it takes ten to get a single piece of uranium. So that's like two hundred and sixty. Did it say like 26 minutes? It's like 10 per minute. That's terrible. Is there anything we can do right now to get... We've actually already got a lot of core fragment mining here. 9.4 per second. It's just such a small planet. We could put some more core mines, but, uh, let's see. Sixteen would be equivalent to four. Alright, I guess let's try... That's going to need to be moved. It's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Uh, we do seem to have enough power to spare for a few more core, f core miners. I think we've got them here as well already. Yeah, there they go. I think we've only got one um, delivery cannon sending them back as well. It might actually be bottlenecking on that. It's not. Okay. That's fine for now then, I guess. It would be pretty easy... Uh, ...to update that if necessary. In fact, I kind of want to do it just as a matter of course. That way I don't have to remember this at some point in the future. And this one is unconditional. Do we not have more regular belt? There we go. Right. Who's going to pick this up? Nobody. Uh, what about the... Roboport that's supposed to be here already? I do not see a bot in motion. You could always... Remove one of these extra ports. We shouldn't be missing a robopod, though. Yeah, there's two here. Wait, is that no longer in range of the robo network? Ah, uh, I think I see the problem. Okay. There was a very specific spot where both of those connect. Alright, then. Put this here, and this here. Good thing I waited to double check that would get sorted out. So once this bot places this one, there should be two bots in motion, one to pick up this and one to place this. And 
you're actually heading straight for the rock, it seems like. You're picking up the Robopot. And we need a little bit more belt here. And hurry up, please, because until this is operational, it's actually just slowing everything down. Do we actually have... Uh, the yellow belt? Doesn't seem like we do. So, let's make that blue belt. We're never going to crack 15 per second, right? Not even close. Oh. Oh no, wait, I remember I put these here for a reason. They're deliberately supposed to drain power. Because we have to get rid of... Something. I think it was fuel. I don't know. Right then. Concrete is maybe in space by now. That's plastic. Where is concrete? Here. It's not. Uh, how full are you? Half full. That's going to take a while. Is there anything else I need to do on Nalvis before I go? Okay, I think the checklist here is... Look at all the main bus things. So, as long as there's items on these belts... Or... We're just waiting for more uranium. That's what got me looking at Tolibai. Concrete is on its way. A bit of melange, we need to go to another planet. And realistically... Uh, we sort of need to core mine Lothar. Where is Lothar? Here. Lothar's got some biters, not very many. It's relatively small. Maybe I should go to Lothar to get the uranium before I bother with chasing the Vitamelange. It's also got a mysterious structure. We can... Honestly, with a threat of 3%, I wouldn't be surprised if I can clear it out myself with power armor, but I'll bring some spiders, and we'll clear out the whole thing. And we'll set up uh, another outpost. Need Robopot? Was this on Tullaby? Uh, I did set up the roboports to be placed. Cool, so we're just over 10 per second, and we've definitely got the power to spare. Good. What does surprise me here is... That we're not sending more uranium back directly. Now this orbit. Oh, okay. Da da twitch siet. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think the time has come to go back to orbit. Uh, let's see. Oh, I should definitely do a resupply. And while we're waiting for that. Is there anything I want to take back to orbit? Uh, that's right, I wanted to send this back to Mariel. Let's do that. That's going to get us a whole lot of Vulcanite sent back directly. We still have 9.2 million to take from here. So I don't 
feel like waiting on just the core fragments for that one in the meantime. I could take a bunch of trains um, for when we inevitably do rail blocks in space. Uh, I think this one is vacant now because we moved it. So let's aim that at uh, Navis Orbit. Did I call it Navis Orbit General or something? Navis Orbit General. I'll just double check. Navis Orbit General. Okay. Let's take some trains. Um, like, enough for 50 trains? We'll do... Uh, 160 cargo wagons. And... 40 fluid wagons. Can't remember what they stack to. Only five? Wow. Okay. Is that actually going to be a problem? 20 stacks plus... Uh... It's 50 stacks. We've still got 90% of the cargo rocket to go. Anything else I want to take into orbit? Um, I'll leave the scaffolding in the dedicated launcher. I don't know why this is in storage, but okay. Probably got dumped after this thing. Uh... Normally I would say belt and pipe and stuff, but I'm pretty sure we've sent up more than enough of that. Ammo is fully automated, don't have to worry about that. Oh, life support might be a good idea. I haven't, like, automated it in space or anything. Uh, life support. Let's go like 500 of those. Make it a thousand. Can't really think of anything else. Uh, we're often running out of inserters up there, so let's... Let's send like a thousand of each at least. I especially know we're going to need a bunch of long arms. Because those were always ghosted trying to build this stuff. We'll take extra fast inserters because they're needed to make the giant assembly machines. Launching a satellite rocket lets you go into space to do space research. Yes, indeed. I play space exploration for the first time and I don't know how to get further. Researched the rocket silo and the transport rocket. And now? Uh, now you do what I'm about to do. Once I'm satisfied with what I'm taking into orbit with me this time. Uh... I think we ran low on certain kinds of chest, so we'll take a couple of hundred of those. And why not some steel chests? What else have we run low on up there? we 
Also, Tyranno, have you found all the planets in Calidus? Yes, I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, in fact, there you go. A new satellite was launched, but it did not find anything new. E30. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, welcome, Mela, as well. Supposed to launch 40 locomotives. There's your answer. Typical use for a rocket. Relatively well. Good. Oh my god. What's with... There's purple everywhere. <laughs> okay. I think it's because I queued up... Because we arbitrarily pick uh, one signal to load one thing at a time, so we get a nice neat layout here. Uh, and the order that I added those signals there, we started to load purple chests. And then it said, no, we're supposed to be loading steel. Because if you don't do this, you end up with a very, very, very messy looking rocket. What else? We could probably stand to take some more substations and power poles. Um... And then, this one's nice and close to the storage. So I think I'll take advantage of this one more often for our manual launches. We have a bunch of uranium in storage. That's weird. I guess if we're sending up... No, I, I'm always carrying rail stuff by habit. This is fine. Actually, the volume of rail we're going to have to send is a lot. You could look at Energy 2 for new tech and bring supplies for those. Energy 2. Uh... I haven't unlocked that yet because I don't have any energy. That's what finishing this base is about. This, uh, this base right here. Well, that's part of what it's about. We've run out of belt. Let's go pick up some more. And if I'd realized how long this is going to take to load, I definitely would have queued this up a bit sooner. It's fine. I suppose if it's going to take a few minutes while we wait for that, I could try uh, building what I was building in my off time earlier. Prerequisite for uh, green science. Whoops. And where did our military spiders go? Back to the mall. Looks like they're all loaded up. Let's send them to finally get that choke point. Do we have any biters here? We do not. But there was water there. And do a little dance over here. That's a scary one. And 
to overheat him as well. Let's start a little bit conservatively this time. That should be okay. And I think that'll be enough for one trip. Oh, we're here. Uh, so this ratio happens to work out pretty well. Exactly zero net rate for burner inserters. And... 168 iron stick per second. Approaching two belts of these each. And more than one belt of iron plate. Uh, the iron plate only needs to go here, so that part's easy. Uh, how fast are these individually? Four and ten. That's actually a problem. We need two belts for output. Wait, how much does this do? 84. We need... Okay, we only need one belt for input. Let's do it in the middle. And individually, four per second. That is one stack. And then... That is almost a full blue belt. So let's move this over a bit. Um, 10.5 output per second. That is two inserters. And I guess we just do it like this. That was easier than I thought it would be. It feels super overkill to need that much belt, but... Rate calculator says... Is huh? Oh, this this is one belt. I am a dub. Okay. How about we just no? That's got to be overkill, right? If this is half a belt, which it is. Then all we have to do is merge these in the middle. And it's going to look like that. Four blue belts for output. 168 per second. Exact one-to-one -one ratio for... Oh. It's very, very, very nearly exact. For the iron sticks. That's with one um, efficiency module in these. So how do we get... Uh... We need one full belt for iron stick, just for these two, and half a belt for burner inserter and single cylinder. And long arm inserters are not going to cut it. Hmm. 
we could do sort of a weave through here. Is a stack inserter going to be... A we need like four stack inserters for the single cylinder engines alone. Well, two per machine, that is. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit... Uh, fit this with just the one beacon. Unless... So this is going to be iron sticks and... S Let's get power back here. We need a full belt of iron stick and one belt for... Oh, yeah. Just a separate self belt for single cylinder engines. Ten per second for single cylinder engine, and we need like four inserters for the iron sticks. And two inserters for the cylinders. Wait, no, it's four inserters for the iron sticks per machine, isn't it? That is kind of crazy. And I was going to do 10.5 burner inserters per second, which uh, I think if we direct insert to a chest, we can get away with just having one inserter to output it. some reason I believed you had energy one already. I will soon. Wait, rate calculator can tell us uh, how many inserters we need, right? One machine, stack inserter, 1.83 is this assuming it's a direct pickup instead of off of a belt, though? Sounds like making rails. Yeah, it's very similar, because the burner inserters require iron sticks in this. Oh, hello, random slow bots. I wonder what brought this on. They're picking up sand as well. Oh, they probably walked through this place. That's why. Okay. Uh, how's our sand looking over here? Beautiful. And you can see illustrated here what I was talking about before. Uh, the sand input from up here absolutely cannot keep up with smelting this glass consistently. We're playing catch up with glass at the moment and we didn't have sand, but normally we would have half a chest of sand or more. How much sand is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, 2.3 thousand sand is what we would normally accumulate in here while we're smelting other things. They return victorious? I guess so. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to fit eight of these under one beacon if we're going to go full speed with this. Um, but if I'm reading this right, uh, rate calculator seems to... Previous selection? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Rate calculator seems to think uh, we only need one inserter for the single cylinder engines and two for the iron sticks, but I strongly suspect that is under the assumption that the the items are already in containers, so the stack inserters don't have to grab, 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 grab from the belt. Hmm. Well, 
let's see how close we are to having that uh, rocket loaded. Not that close, actually. Not that far away. Forty-two and twenty-one. So that can't even go down there either. Hmm. This build is going to be tougher than I thought, if I want to really be neat and clever and efficient with it. Yeah, I'm really not sure about that one. I do want to do this with the output. I, I did think about using the side here, but obviously this one can't do the same thing. It really might have to be, like, twice as many beacons. It's only an extra 200 kilowatts. The real power consumption comes from the actual assembly machines. I say only, like, 200 kilowatts is not nothing. Can you weave a red belt? Uh, it's not so much the belt that's the problem, I think. Like... Well, we do actually need 42 single cylinder engines just here, so no, a red belt would not be sufficient. It actually requires... Two belts of sticks and one belt of single cylinder. Or we could just build it like this and not worry about going quite so fast and use some efficiencies to slow it down to a pace that matches uh, what the inserters can handle. That sounds like quitting, honestly. You are having some troubles, aren't you? Wait, which one is it? This one. Why do you have batteries? Oh, right, I remember. There you go. Alright. Why don't you head back to base and get all of that stuff out of your inventory? And I'll head back and get ready to get in that rocket. How are our military... Oh, they didn't even get a scratch. Front one's out of rockets. Uh, the others are pretty good, actually. So I think I'll send them back up here. Actually, I don't think that'll work very well, going back and forth, because of the followers. Oh, now you get scratched? I guess I was careless. Fine, get resupplied. UPS is starting to get a little, a little bit sad. We are getting back up to 50, almost. How's our sand doing? It's still going. 
23k. That means there's still places the sand needs to go. Like here, for example. Right, how's our rocket looking? Oh, I think it's probably not even close to loaded. Um, do we not have life support here? I thought this is the only place. Oh, locomotives. I asked for too many. Uh, in that case, how many do we have? 63. Let's bump this down to 60. 96. And 24. Come to think of it, I think we probably don't have 96 cargo wagons either. Considering I was limiting them to 40. That'll help a bit. Can we get some more steel here? Apparently. Oh. That might be helpful. How close are we? Uh, let's see. 37 to go. If I'd known it was going to take this long, I wouldn't have added this stuff on kind of a whim. It's just setting it up for the future. iron plate. Let me bump this up a bit. How do you queue up researchers? Um, when you... By default, you'll need to launch one rocket uh, before you can queue research in vanilla. But... Uh, if you change a setting when you go and make your game uh, at world generation, uh, you can start by being able to queue up research like so. Uh, Venom Mouse, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And JSC. How many hours have you played this save? Quite a few. Uh, 15 days, 17 hours, actually. So, not a trivial amount. How is this still looking for 104 cargo wagons? Oh, I think I know. Yeah, no, that's fine. Right, how many cargo wagons do we have here? 85, we're almost there. And then... 24 fluid wagons, and 1,000 life support. Fluid wagons, I think we already have. Uh, that's 20, plus 2, that'll be fine. That's more than 50% of my total playtime of Factorio on Steam. I need to quit my job. Uh, I don't know whether I would necessarily recommend that. 
do bear in mind that I haven't necessarily been exactly speed running this playthrough, um, but also doing it for the stream as well, so there's really no... Realistically, there's no limit to how much time I'm going to put into it. Things are accelerating, though. It's much... It's getting simpler to... Um, to get things together. And once we get this orbital base going, all of the tier 1 space researchers are going to get finished relatively quickly. Uranium and... Uh, the one that needs uranium and the bioscience is going to be a bit more of a problem because we need to source the uranium and vitamolunge. But energy science in particular, it's going to give us our space rail blocks. And that's going to make it a hell of a lot easier to build a nice big base in space. Because... I kind of regret my decision to... Well, okay. The part of the decision to build this base that I regret is arbitrarily I said, okay, we're going to have one of these machines making, for example, energy science packs. And we're not going to put speed modules in it. And we're going to build backward from there enough to support going at default speed. Uh, this is how much it takes for each of those sciences, which is quite a lot more than I had in mind. Um, so I, if I had to do it all again, I would probably aim a bit smaller, especially after I noticed that um, Space Rail is actually only 50 energy science packs away. Uh, so that was a little bit of a mistake, but now that we're here, it is kind of a satisfying build. But yeah, um, space science is a lot more complicated than what you deal with in vanilla, and building it with like a main bus kind of system, there's a lot of stuff going back and forth, like we have to get trash items going all the way back to be dealt with over here, for example. Um, it's going to be a hundred times easier to do with rail blocks because you can just have train stations for input and output and, you know, the rail, uh, the, the rail system will deal with the rest. You in range for that, not quite. Let's bring you down here. And we're finally down to loading the rest of the uh, life support canisters. It seems we've loaded as many of them as we've got, so I think we'll just go now. Put on the thruster suit. Novus Orbit General. And away we go. This, uh, this playthrough also had a much slower start than I'm used to because the default settings have much fewer resources on the starting planet than I've come to expect. Okay, I think I will go and grab all those fancy buildings and go and start placing some of them. We don't have enough life support, eh, just launch. We have enough, we, we have enough for a very long time. In fact, uh, what I'm carrying right now with all of these life support equipment in my thruster suit 
um, it extends the time that I get out of each life support canister. And with just one stack, I've actually got um, more than 12 and a half hours. And I brought an extra 500 and something with me. So it's going to be a... It, it would take a very, very, very long time to run out of life support up here if I was just sitting in the logistic network uh, waiting to run out. Let's go. Oh, I should have brought more speed modules up. I knew there'd be something. I don't remember... I may or may not have brought up some more speed modules at another time to make sure we have enough for this whole base. I thought I was going to build just one of each of these machines to get the whole thing started, um, but it turns out it's actually quite easy to power the whole thing in Nalvis Orbit. And since we have so much belt and pipe to place to get the whole thing done anyway, we may as well build all the buildings. Hypercooler didn't get placed. Oh. We must have made one extra. Let's keep building. And I need to pick up more computers next time. Supercomputers, that is. Speed modules go burr. Uh, telescopes and astrometric facilities, I think, are the only special space buildings I'm still carrying at the moment. Oh, away they go. All those poor long arm inserters that have been waiting to be placed. So I guess um, some of these items should already be where they're supposed to be from the main bus. That's good. Oh. Oh, we're just missing the fluid here. That's odd. We've got the ice and the coal. But we need to bootstrap the heavy oil to get this whole thing started. Need just a little bit of heavy oil if all, to get it started if all you're doing is coal liquefaction. I um, think that's all of that. Do the spiders still have stuff to place? Probably. Yeah, they've still got belt. Let's bring you over here. I'll fly home myself. I'm actually quite happy with this base now that it's almost finished. The design could, of course, be better, but it's literally the first iteration where I've built that. Um, what did I come back here for again? I don't actually remember. Fancy buildings... Um, there was something else though, wasn't there? I'm already requesting some long arm inserters, but I should probably carry some more of them. Oh, speed modules. We did bring them. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
And I actually have a request for flat solar panels that I totally forgot about. Alright. I don't know if I've listed all the fancy buildings here, but... I need to bump up some of these requests. Please bring me all of them. I think the spiders might be carrying some of the computers. Yeah, they are. Fantastic. Uh, let's get you to start with this then. Where are they going? Fair enough. Actually, what other buildings do you have left? Give me more of these, please. Should have just set all of these ridiculously high to start with. This chest is only here to let me pick up this stuff personally. How many more? That's it. Alright, let's go place this stuff. Actually, before I do, um, let's grab ourselves a barrel of heavy oil. Do we have that lying around or do I have to make one? I thought there were a few heavy oil barrels. Yes, fantastic. And away we go. So, just need to find a good spot for this. Oh, and I need a space assembly machine. I thought I picked some up before. I must have set the requests to zero. Derp. Do the spiders have some? They do. Let's pay him a visit. And also... I think I'll just pilot them for a second. Or the leader, anyway. Give to me the space assembly machines, please. Is this the big day? I believe it is. Getting towards the end of the stream, but I think for this occasion I'll... Stay until I'm done. Uh, let's go get the oil going. Now that we've got some assembly machines. Now where can we squeeze this in? Right about here. Empty heavy oil barrel, and can I, where is it? Wait, it's in my trash slots, but the bots didn't take them yet, thank goodness. And away goes coal liquefaction. Fantastic. Um... There we go. Now let's place some telescopes and stuff. And while we're doing that, 
up the spiders to move around a bit. I don't suppose they're carrying those machines either, are they? Uh, computers they are carrying. I think they're carrying all of the remaining computers. Or I might have a couple. Is this actually it? Are we placing the last telescope now? Or, uh, don't tell me we're one telescope short somehow. That's a little bit upsetting, not gonna lie. And we did build all of these at least. Let's go over here. Uh, does one of you perhaps have a telescope? I don't think I made them request telescopes. There wouldn't happen to be exactly one telescope up here, would there? Nope. I think we somehow... ending up making one too few. Alright. One telescope, please. Oops, I just double pinged it. It's fine, we'll make an extra one. Just need the LDS and glass. Let's ride the belt until all of this stuff gets placed, or have I already run out? What are we missing here? Space pipe. Uh, do the spiders have those? They do not. Wait, we do have some space pipe remaining, don't we? We're actually out of space pipe. I'm a little bit surprised by that. I thought I calculated it all. Alright then. May as well send up some more. Hundred thousand and like one stack of each of these. Cool. And it seems regular space pipe is all we're missing up here. Uh, we could make some here if we really want to. Oh, is that... We did have it. Maybe the bots were just... I don't... Why didn't... It's fine. This is fine. Alright, that's as built as it's going to get until we get that pipe. And what are these? Mechanical thingamajigs. Mechanical facility. I thought we made those already. Mechanical facility. Um, I should definitely... It's nothing. A logistic network. Where did our mechanical facilities go? Or did I make like a few of them just to get things started? We've got ten. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's weird. How many are we missing? Eleven plus eight. 19 plus 25 but really we need 3 to get the whole thing at least functional mechanical facility 25 
I'll set in. That will get built. A Zavoxifor. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Old Busk. Uh, what I can do... It's already got lubricant in it. It's fine. Turn off Roboport. Pick these up. That's a little bit annoying. This goes here. This goes here. And this goes here. And that will at least be functional until we finish it. We're already making plasma. That's cool, I guess. Seems like it's full. Uh, why does it look like... Okay, it is going to storage or something. I was going to say, though, why does it look like... All the plasma pipes are full, but this keeps going. Okay, it's done now. Never mind. I'm in and out of meetings today, just popping in every now and then to see your lovely base. Thank you. Um, let's just double check that the spooters do indeed not carry the last bit of pipe that we need down here. Doesn't seem like we're missing space pipe anywhere else. We also lack a three whole plasma generators. And that's actually it. I think. So let's go get them. I almost wish I had built this a bit closer up here, but not really. Uh, okay. Plasma generator... Oh, I'm carrying three plasma generators. I just missed placing them. That's good. Kind of. We've got... A whopping one mechanical facility built. I think I'll just wait till they're finished before I go to finish building all of that. Uh, we are indeed still missing the space pipe. So let's see about launching it up here. How on earth do we only have 44 transport built? Really? There's no lubricant. Have we stopped making oil here? Uh, kind of, yes. We're completely dry on oil here. Because there's no path to this. Because we're missing a single solitary signal. Okay. That's cool. Um, where are our constructed spiders? Please go and place this extremely important signal. Although it's a uh, Probably wouldn't have happened in vanilla. No, it wouldn't have, because it's the pickup that's inaccessible, but there's other places to get crude oil. But I limited this tr to one train. There's a train scheduled to pick up from here and take it back here. Um, and with the way LTN does that, 
this train is uh, reserved to come to this station specifically. So yeah, the main bus base is completely out of crude oil because of that. And it stopped making space belt. Uh, we don't actually need any more space belt for the moment, so I think for, the, for now I'll just remove the requests for those. I sure hope we don't need oil products for space pipe. Just plastic, which I think we've got a bunch of. In the meantime, I guess we'll continue building our uh, mechanical facilities. What was the other thing I needed to pick up? Many, many, many speed modules. Let's do that now. Speed modules. All of them, please. Let's go. How far to spaceships? You always ask me that. Uh, I don't really know. Spaceship. We need Astro Science Pack 3. That's a while. But now that we've got scale and throughput and pretty soon all of the tier 1 science packs... Uh, in orbit, things are going to continue to accelerate. I forgot the spiders weren't carrying long arm inserters as well. I should have picked up more of those. Soon TM? Yes, soon TM. That is a good description. Just looking for things that the bots... Oh, there they go. Look at all those speed modules. This build's kind of crazy, huh? I mean, especially for, like, a first proper base in space. All right. Looks like we got all the speed modules in this bit. I do wish the bots wouldn't reset themselves when I activate the jetpack. And away we go. Probably would have been... It's such a small amount, it would have been way quicker if I'd just built the space pipe up here. But almost finished loading that. Uh, how much more space pipe do we have? Three thousand. Let's bump this up to four thousand. So we don't have that problem again anytime soon. I think literally all that's left is the mechanical facilities, possibly a long arm here or there. Oh, speed modules, of course. Let's send the spiders back to resupply, since they don't have... Oh. They do have a few things over here left to do. Almost forgot that. And... Just missing some scaffolding here that doesn't matter.
We've already got a ton of blank data cards. Wow. That did not take long. They do not look balanced, that's for sure. Oh. I thought... These all go to the left side. And then we belt balance it, and then we assume that that's... What was I thinking when I did this part? That's kind of weird. I assume it's because it's going to take up more than half a belt. It's actually not going to take up more than half a belt. 23.8. So if this is all on one side... Which is this side. That would do the job. So why did I have this bit? That should be correct. Let's bring you over here for a sec. Just to supply the belt. And let's go check if there's anywhere missing... Speed modules. Why did I build four of these with no speed modules? That's kind of weird. Same thing over here, apparently. Uh, I can't exactly see it, looking at that blueprint. Uh, I mean, I did decide to put speed modules in later in the build, but still. Have I actually placed all the speed modules by now? Yeah, that's actually balanced now. Fantastic. Looks like it... Yeah, I don't see anything missing except the some of the actual buildings and a few little pieces of pipe. Let's send our scooter back down here. And I'll go get those uh, mechanical facilities. Oh, I had some belt on me. I could have done that myself. How many do we have? Nine. So I'll just double check. I think we had like 25 to go. This is 10. 15. Plus 10. 25. Let me speed this up a bit. Concrete. Steel. LDS. Big electric. Steel. Uh, don't do that, please. Concrete. Oh, there's steel here still. Concrete. We've got the LDS. I mean the big electric. We need LDS. Low density structure. Is this jammed again? No, it looks okay. Right, LDS goes in here. And 
And I guess I'll just jam it in here as well. Really bottlenecking on the stack inserter there. My, that is a lot of concrete. 100 each. So that was only enough to make 10, or a little bit less, that I brought over. Let's grab some more concrete then. And shove it in here. Right here. And we only need two more. Fantastic. There is a genetic facility missing modules. Genetic facility goes here somewhere. Correct. It's missing. Why is that a speed two module? Huh? This one has one speed three, and it's satisfied, and this is asking for one speed three and one speed two. I don't remember doing that. Oh, that's different recipes. So maybe. I'll just give it another speed three. It's fine. Alright, are we done? I think we're good. 25 mechanical facilities. And away we go. Really loving seeing all those belts saturated. Two meteors destroyed. Missing material testing pack. Missing copper and iron. What? That's one thing we shouldn't be missing. Oh. I see. Uh, please go place those two. And this one up here. Sneaky. Let's get our speed module in here before we forget. That'll do. Away go the bots in this general direction. And we need some undergrounds over here. Hello, Mind Mousecraft. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need another Robopod over there. And that should just about do it. Cool. We're just waiting on a little bit of belt to finish the blue signs. And also, we need to finish this stuff. If uh, bio signs, well, and blue signs still work. I saw something moving on the belt that was new. Red circuits, that's not new. Uh, so. Products finished zero. We're waiting on machine learning data. Machine learning data. We're needing... Uh, cool thermofluid. Which... 
we are making Thermo fluid 25 degrees goes here. Where are we making? Oh, here it is. I think we need to probably speed this one up a bit. It might be fast enough already in the long run, but um, I would like to bootstrap a bit fast. Oh my goodness. Surprisingly, a stack inserter can pretty much keep up with that. That's fine. So... Thermofluid fluid 25 degrees is not getting sent over here. Did I overlook that? I think I must have. Um, there are other things that'll pump thermofluid fluid into this pipe. We've got the 25 degree here. Cool thermo fluid is getting consumed immediately. Hypercooling thermo fluid. Products finished. Zero. Why? Because we need cool thermo fluid. Oh. These are all products finished zero because I put them on the more efficient recipe. Four ninety nine efficient uh, I wanna check which recipes I already have, but I don't wanna mess with this. I had like a second where I could have done that right there. Whoops. Hi, I think you've forgotten to switch an underground belt when you fixed the balance on the belt some time ago. Do you mean the blank data cards? Also, poor Aeor. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. So these produce 23.8 per second, which is less than half a... Oh, it's actually slightly more than half a belt. Whoops. That all goes to one side, and then... That gets balanced here. So, except these are all stuck. Oh, yeah, I did forget to turn that around. Thank you. Good call. Uh, am I okay with getting half a belt of blank data cards? Probably. The net rate of blank data cards for this entire thing is probably still going to be positive, which is all that matters. And that's not including recycling some of them here. Uh, that's not blank data card. There we go. Uh, net rate is positive 2.42 per second. So yeah, that should make no difference. Alright, we finally got our... thermofluid everywhere. And I don't remember all the details, but evidently we do get... thermofluid in this part. Which is what we need. Uh, we don't really produce thermofluid so much as it comes back when we're done with the colder thermofluid. So I think the fact that this is on fumes is probably fine, unless I'm forgetting something somewhere. Uh, 
let me just double check. So my flow 25 degrees, 499, efficient. Yeah, so we are using the most efficient recipe that we've got here. Cool. Not a whole lot of fluid in the system just yet. Uh, it is a pretty big system, though, storage-wise. We can always extend this out as far as we need to as well, um, if this turns out to be insufficient to support the base. I tripled that system for fluids. Okay, I'll probably do that then. I do want to see, because it's really... The reason I did this, as opposed to everywhere else where I've calculated the ratios, uh, it's really, really, really difficult to calculate fluid. Uh, uh, everywhere we're consuming, like, one type of cold fluid and spitting it out warmer, um, it's kind of hard to know what we actually need. So... How long until we get some... We've already got rocket science packs. Fantastic. Uh, we need to actually output them somewhere, obviously. Nowhere near finishing any of the other sciences, though, I think. We're definitely not getting bioscience done. We don't have the vitamelange. And we need some pipe to finish this one, and... Some of this belt over here as well. Let's go get some more belt, I guess. Don't tell me we've run out of the space belt. No, it's right here. I think the main issue is the ratios are good when the whole thing is running and producing. But when you're ramping up without many items, it was slow. Okay. So, are we just about ready to launch with pipes? Uh, we're still looking for underground pipes. How many more? Let's just do 500. Oh, we're going for 500 already. So we need like 80. That's going to take a little while. I don't think I want to wait for that. Uh, let's bump this down to 450. Actually, 400. And we should already have the rest of this. I think in future we'll set up uh, space pipe and space belt to be manufactured up here. Right then. How fast does this actually net consume uranium? Very, very slowly. Um, the whole thing is net 1.46 per second. Okay. It's not going to last forever, but I think I would like to send this rocket up now. It's going to take a really, really long time to get full. Uranium-235 incoming. And it will auto-resupply. We're still not seeing all of these rockets ready to launch all the time. That's a little bit upsetting. And here it comes. Boom. Uh, 
You guys getting belts and stuff. A little bit. What else do we need to do? So that one's finished. Uh, energy science, which is the one I'm most interested in in the short term. We're making the multi-spectral mirrors, that's good. This just needs cooled thermofluid, or cold thermofluid. And then we'll start getting some polarization data. Um, the uranium is coming. I don't remember energy science needing uranium, but here we are. Cold thermofluid is all that's needed, and cold thermofluid is all that's needed. That's a really good sign. Oh, and we already got a few of these as well. Fantastic. Uh, so... It seems like, actually, energy science is already operational. Oops. That was not what I meant to press. Please close the giant CPU fog. Pretty please. It's just not closing. Okay. And process. There we go. And we just added a bunch of random scaffolding. I was trying to get rid of the little flashies, uh, flashing thing. So, I never anticipated it would get started and be quite this slow to get going, but Oh, it's speeding up. Oh, this doesn't need any fluid, that's why. Nice. And this thing seems to be working well. Good. Let's uh, expand this out a bit, shall we? I think it just goes like that. But then we need some regular pipe as well. Why is this... How many pipes do we need here? Okay, not like three. Is this thing finally loaded? Uh, very nearly. Very, very nearly. Literally just these bots have to get here, and it's ready to launch. What? You're kidding. What? Did... Oh, I see what happened. Oh, no. Maybe it would be better to let them overload this and then have that take things out instead of removing the filters from this when we get close. Because, yeah, that's definitely adding some time transitioning from one resource to another. Alright, it's finally done. Novice Orbit General, away we go. Don't launch on cargo full, actually. Uh, let's get our spooters again. And there was something that I needed from them other than the belts. What was it? Oh yeah, some pipe over here.
I'll go get the little pipes. And away we go. Uh, where am I going? Up here. Small pipe. Yoink. I'm sure I don't need 948. And I'm sure I don't care. And once I'm in position to place those, I'll... Oh, sneaky. Uh, once I'm in position to place these ones... Let's make an order for some more hypercoolers. Wait, what's the ratio here? 4 to 1? 4 to 2. So 2 to 1. Um, where are we going? I really like this auto-crafting system. I'm definitely going to make a more refined version of it for the ground as well. So let's say 10 hypercoolers. Oh, hypercooler. And 20 these. Pulse that into the system and that'll get built. Unless we've run out of storage tanks, I hope not. We don't seem to have storage tanks. How many does this take? One each. I've got some on me, no doubt. Hello, Alexa. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where are they going? Oh, there's... Random bits of scaffolding. Can you stop with that, please? There we go. Alexa, play rock music? Oh, I didn't mean to do this either. Just hurry up. Got another hypercooler, but I don't think it can. Why is the output? Oh, the thermo fluid. The twenty-five degree output is full. Uh oh. I don't think I thought this part through. That might be a problem. Um. What if I? Hang on. What if I connect to both of these and say, yeah, everything less than 12k, that's not going to help. Um, we need to make sure there's room... I don't know how I'm going to do this. We need to make sure this doesn't overflow so that this can keep going. Um, that's kind of complicated, actually. But yeah, our space science base is operational. That's cool. It's going to be a minute before we get our first energy science, but this stuff is actually working as much as it may not look like it. In fairness, it did start playing some okay music. Okay. Right, well, I said I'd keep going until the space base was uh, functional, and here we are. Let's just bring you over here to get that finished as well. So I think that's going to do it for today.
And I'm going to have to have a think about how this part's supposed to work, I suppose. Uh, I think I'll just have to put a storage tank here, and this should say that that has to not be full. Probably. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord and Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means let me know. Uh, let's see who is streaming Factorio for today. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Uh, Mucky did drop in on us earlier. Uh, but I think we rated Mucky relatively recently, right? I kind of want to give some other streamers chance a little bit more often. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Thanks for hanging out, Blue Lightning. Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. And let's go this way. Did I need this? Yes, I did. No, I'm not talking about my microphone. Uh, the raid thing is broken again, it seems like. Uh-oh. You already have a raid in progress. Yeah, it's done the thing again where it didn't make the button to trigger the raid. <laughs> I never found a solution to that. I could try refresh chat. That didn't seem to do it. Try it again. After refresh. Already have a raid in progress. Is there a, like, a slash command to execute the raid? Does anyone know? Raid. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be. On a system raid? <laughs> sure. Alright. Uh, I was thinking let's raid hybrid beard zero. Type raid slash channel. Yeah, I've done that. Uh, something that's happened to me only twice so far is the, the, the countdown and the button up the top where I click raid once we're ready, uh, just doesn't appear, and then, uh, if I try to raid again, it says there's one already in progress. Alright, take care guys, see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and, uh, Roroso, good to see you again, by the way. Alright, take care guys. See you, Beldeck.